Hello everyone! Welcome to the Forest of Memories. I am Zaruk Windcaller, your guardian, your high remembrancer, and your arbiter. Sorry we're struggling a bit late. I um I got a little long-winded when I was talking to Sangria and Azzy. But yes, it is time for Sea of Thieves. I hope you're all excited. Please sit back, relax, and make yourselves at home as the Snick, the Imp, and the Goat sally out on our ship, or well, Sangria's ship, and proceed to be plundering and looting pirates. So let's get right to it. Actually, I say that. I am actually going to go get some water real quick. Um, I will be back momentarily. Let's get Azzy right here. So, I will be back momentarily. Hey, I'm back. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Everyone say hi to uh, Sangria. Hello. Oh, wait. Actually, I need to change my... All right. I have returned. Mental... Oh, yeah. Uh, should I send Key an invite? I don't... No. Because I mentioned the... earlier that my friend Key was open to join. Uh, I mean... I Like, that, that's not my stream. Uh, it's a root. All right, he was going to go get water. Yeah. I'll ask him when he gets back. I'll see what he thinks. I think he said he was fine with it, but I want to double check. Hopefully, after this time around, I'll be able to... Uh get that galleon of my own. Oh, uh, yeah, get yourself a gallon. <laughs> now you look like you took a gallon. Uh, heck. Now, say hey there, Vim, in the search chat. Um, so, we currently have a fourth on call, but I'll see what Zaruk thinks. If we are looking for a fourth, uh, I was mentioned about it already, though. So, we'll have to see if he's still free or not. Okay, I'm back. Hey, Zerk. Oh. We looking for a fourth, by the way? Uh, if Vim wants to join us, sure. Well, I was also mentioning, oh. uh, because my friend, uh, Oh, yeah, that's right. Your friend asked, yeah, so. your friend asked first. Um, sure. Who are they? I'm gonna have to invite them to the server and give them a... Uh, Key Solar Storm. Okay, can you, uh, send, can they send me a DM or something? Because I'm gonna have to not only invite them, but I'm also gonna have to give them space in the streaming room. So. Yep. Sorry, Vim. Someone already asked. I apologize. Maybe next time. Hey, Holt. How you doing? Uh, since we're definitely getting a fourth one way or another, uh, Sangria, you mind starting up a, uh, yeah. galleon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I wanted to let both of you know my editor, who normally makes clips... Uh, I commissioned them to make clips and everything. Uh, the clip where we get, uh, where all three of us and Ludren got jumped by that uh, ghost ship popping up. Uh, I told yeah. them about the joke about adding the Prowler music to like when it appears and everything. She, uh, they said that is a good idea. I'm going to st stow that away for next time. <laughs> so, all right, thanks, Holt. Appreciate it, bud. Oh, that reminds me, I need to open this up. Yeah, so let your uh, friend reach out to me on Discord, Azzy, and then once they do that, I will invite them to the uh, group, and I'll let them into the uh, sir, into the streaming room. Turn that off. Yeah, I know, Vam. I have it uh, rigged to a button. There we go. So... Thank you, Sangria. Now let's, hope, time. let's hope this time it actually works. Because last yeah. time, because last time we what was it, Magenta Beard? Yeah. I, I mean, it worked just by the time I by yeah. the time my game downloaded. Yeah. For uh, the other game. 
But yeah, once you're uh Oh, we can get started now. Okay. Uh so I sent him a poke. Uh so let's give it about five minutes. Let's okay. give it to uh and then if he doesn't respond, then we'll have Vim join. Okay. All right, Vim, I appreciate it. I'm guessing the Monkey Island stuff in the game is a bunch of, and this is just a bunch of puzzles and everything. Uh, it it, it essentially plays like an adventure game. Yeah. Like an old LucasArts adventure yeah. game, which is kind of cool. Because that's yeah, well, because Secret of Monkey Island was an old, I think, rare game, wasn't it? Or was it a Lucas? No, yeah. was that it? was LucasArts. Oh, what? Yeah, LucasArts. Oh, okay. Wow, it is a shitty looking day. Like, everything's green. And it just be like that sometimes. Yeah. I'll show you Mega Man. Uh, Tingria doesn't really stream alongside us, but she's just here for the fun. Yeah. And well, it's her ship, too. So. So who, for now, at least. Yeah. So, who are we working for today? Uh, it depends. Do you want to fight skeleton pirates, hunt for treasure? Well, I don't think we should do the merchant stuff. I'm not sure about that one. Yeah, trading. Blah. Uh, it's not all trading. Yeah. Because uh, one thing you can do with the merchants is uh, shipwreck hunting. Oh, okay. Where well, so you have to. Like... already so big on your stream? Mm -hmm. Sorry, go on, Zingria. Yeah, essentially what you do is you have to, like, follow clues to a chain of shipwrecks to get, like, a lost shipment. And then you get to turn it all in. Nice, let's see. Yeah, we should definitely be able to get... Next time we play, we'll definitely be able to use my own Swipes, galleon. Zaruk, sack, look at me, Zaruk. I am the yeah. captain now. Well, I was never a captain, so... If someone said, swipes your hat, look at me, I'm the captain now. Well, it's not my ship, so... Sangria ship. All right. Ooh, well, pirates. um, can't we um? Don't the uh hunting skeleton thing also give us treasure chests that we can bring back to like the uh, either the like the hunters or even the uh, like the gold whatever their guys are called. Yeah, like whatever we do, we'll still get like an array of stuff. It yeah. just really depends on our focus. So if we focus on treasure, we'll get a bit more treasure than skeleton stuff. Yeah. But if we focus on skeleton stuff, we'll still get plenty of like treasure to turn in. Yeah. We're gonna get paid either way. Oh, of course. That's that's the well, that's what matters is that we get paid. Oh well, I'm fine for whatever. So whatever y'all want to do, let's do it. What right. you think? He, what you're he says that he poked us, but he was on the road, so it'll be ten minutes before he he can join. Okay. So we can, as long as we don't try to, you know, fight any like actual players, we should be fine until he gets here. All right. By the way, did anyone manage to see the eclipse? Nope. Uh, I did not, sadly. I know. I know my girlfriend did. I did not. I was working, so. I didn't. I didn't even pay attention, but part of that was mainly just because I don't have any mm -hmm. glasses, and you should not look into a solar eclipse or the sun in general without special glasses. Yeah. Hey, Soulstone, how you doing? Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. Oh right, yeah. So, uh, why don't we do some, you know, just some skeleton bounty hunting for now? Yeah. All right. Sounds yeah. good. Simple enough. Skeletons. So I'm believe, just gathering so, supplies. Uh, so I believe we what talk talk to the person who has the skeleton in the cage. Uh, that's the Reapers. Okay, uh, you no, want to go to you want to go to like the the goth chick. Okay. They're under the pirate emporium. Ah. Pirate emporium. I know they use colors to differentiate, but because everything looks like we basically sailed into. Our, into a green fog. It's kind of hard to tell. And also the sun setting, so. Mm. Organizing the cannonballs. Really wish there was a ping thing in this game. Oh, you mean the Order of Souls, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
that'd be Madam Oprah here. Hello. Let's see, what do we got? Some crew duels. Okay. Got it. Why are they all free? Hmm? Like, all of the voyages are... The sailor voyages are free. Oh, huh. Uh, let me grab those, because depending... Because they are... They're more... What does... What actually does, like, the higher rank voyages, like, di what difference does that actually make? Hmm. Because mine are all initiate, so... I'll grab them. I can just go to the ship right here and get a big old pack of them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this ship has plenty of storage. Yeah. That's sure, for sure. sure, Thomas, what's up? So, I've been meaning to ask, what are Tall Tales exactly? Tall Tales Story. are... St yeah, they're story quests. Okay, and I'm guessing you unlock those by what playing by yourself or? Uh, you could do them with a, with friends. Because mm. I apparently don't have access to any of them. It says you do not uh, have any tall tale checkpoints. You should. Well, I think it's because I have to start it. I think I ah. don't know. I know you should have access to the the pirates' life ones, which is like the Disney stuff. Uh, let's see, pirate log quests. Uh, no, just void. Nope. Says you do not have any tall tale checkpoints. Hmm. Huh. I guess I gotta start it. Guess so. I do have some voyages stuff, but that's it. Microsoft. Hey, I mean, you wanna do some tall tales? We can do some tall tales. I mean, maybe later. Yeah, I yeah I know about Microvision, uh, my, Microvision, Microsoft's uh, buying thing. I I heard about that. Yeah, y'all probably heard too. Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard, so and acquired it. Yeah, it sounds like a dangerous merger. Yeah, they might. Sounds uh like a monopoly is what it is. Yeah. But oh well. I'm just going to hope things turn out for the best, but keep an eye on it. The, uh, anyway. There's one thing that's already, it's one good thing that's already come out of it, though. Bobby Kotick, who's like the CEO of Activision, he's been fired. So he has, nice. he will be, fi he will be out of a job July, or sorry, January 1st of this coming year. So he's done. So no more of his BS. All right. I got a, I got a knife on the table. All right, let's go. Wait, right. did we sign up as an emissary for someone? Yeah. Oh, right. We need to do that. Yeah. We'll, we'll do Order of Souls. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness for unlimited sprint. Uh, you couldn't tell. Pirates are the healthiest people ever. Just look at all the fruit they eat. That? Uh, it is, I believe it's uh, over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's him, Thomas. That's him. Hmm? Uh, my friend Thomas asks, is that the guy who tried to justify loot boxes? Yeah, that's him. So he will be, uh, he's fired. That is nowhere near worse. That is nowhere near close to the worst thing he's ever done. Yeah, it is. Yeah, by no <laughs> he's done way worse. But that's what most people probably know him for, among other things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he'll be out of a job start of the uh, new year. Good riddance. Good riddance. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. We should leave. Why? What's the problem? There is a Reaper ship. Oh. Right next to us. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, uh, wait, get that anchor up and get us the fuck out of here. Got it. 
It could be anywhere, just not here. It's yeah. only a tier one Reaper, at least, so... If we're lucky, it's just someone who just wants the flag. Uh, it doesn't take long to hit rank five. Yeah, let's just, let's go. Because the, cause that's the thing with, like, running Reaper, is pretty much everything raises, like, raises your flag level. That's the sail angle. Where's the... Ah! Gotta lower the sail. The right. main kicker is you get more progress if you steal it. Yeah. Uh, here. I have a quest I put down. Okay, all ahead full, or full sail. Oh, now I can access the tall tails. I have to do it from the desk. So what we got here? Yeah, I guess we could do this one. Okay. There we go. Nancy. Who's at the helm, by the way? Uh, I am. Okay, good. Uh, so, let's see. I'll keep us from crashing into stuff, but it might be a good idea to pick a direction. Find uh, what's closest to us. Southeast. Southeast. Right, southeast. That is... Oh, what the hell? Uh, yeah, we're going southwest, so you need to turn to the left. Yeah, I'm turning. Yeah. Was that you, Sangria, who put all those quests on the table? Is it just... Uh, it, it says, let's, I think it came with the quest package, basically. Okay, yeah. Okay. Because I just got a thing that says proposed quest for... Also, yes, Black Flame Thomas. Those are, in fact, crystal stuff. Singri has a very pretty ship. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. We are almost I... there. Her cannons are actually just genie lance, except instead of genie, okay, she we're good. replaced them with ammunition. Yeah, we're good. We're aiming south. We're facing southeast. Yeah. All right. I, can, I, can, I can see the Reaper. They're right in between, like, the big rocks over there. Yeah. Reach just a little bit. Are they? Oh. Like the big rock arch? Yeah, I'm looking at where the sun's setting? Are the sun's rising? Like directly behind us. Oh. oh wait, nope. They're on the move. Oh. I thought you said you said rock arch. I'm like, you mean where the sun's rising? They were there. They ah. moved. Oh. Let's see what they're up to. They're going the opposite direction, so we're good. Good. Hope it stays that way. Good, that's one less loose end. Oh, so hi there, Lazy. Oh. Alright. Oh, so I like what Thomas said about the cannons. I can grant you three wishes, assuming as long as those wishes involve cannonballs flying through the deck of that ship over there. Alright, we are right on our way. Alright. Quests. Shipwreck Bay. Oh, it's actually right here. Is it? Uh, uh, we're clo pretty close to it. Oh, okay. Are we going uh, in the right direction? Uh, so go southwest. Oh, southwest. We're, huh? we're, 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 we're about to go past it. Okay, turn right. Hard right. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah. Oh, is it, uh, it's directly to our right. Yeah, Atlanta. it's the place with all the jagged rocks. Oh, goody. Also, what up with the glow? What up with the glow and blue light over there? Is that another mermaid? Oh, thing? that's a mermaid it's a, shrine. A, yeah, it's a mermaid shrine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we uh, only so have, let's get, we only have three. Let's get some. Yeah, let's get some stuff first. Let's get some sails up. Oh, got it. Sails up. Because you want to yeah, kind of go ah! slow in here. I'm all right. Hopefully, I can. Eh. Oh yeah. I, wait. If I uh. If the ship leaves without me, a mermaid will come get me, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, did you fall off? Yeah, I fell off. That's why I was like, ah! No, uh, plus ratio. So it'll stay... That uh, mermaid will appear in front of me or behind me? It'll, it'll appear nearby. They'll have, like, a big, like, smoke cloud. Yeah. I believe one of you told me there was a lore reason that the mermaids helped the pirates. Or something. Uh, I forget. <laughs> I know the lore reason why the uh, sirens attack you is because they just hate everyone. Oh, well, yeah. The lore is that they're assholes. Yeah. 
Ah, there's there they are. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I'm back. Are the sails up? Uh, Not all the way. All the way. Yeah, we should probably go ahead and get them all the way up. All right. Raise sail. Yeah, let's leave the back one up for now, at least. You mean down? Just eat, or, yeah, down. All right, get ready to drop anchor. Uh, no, we should be able to sail it in with perfect ease. All right. Also, I just hit level 31, so... Nice. Oh, nice. But yeah, there's a reason they call this Shipwreck Bay. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You know what a better name for it would have been? Galleon Graveyard. Galleon's Graveyard. I'm sure. I'm sure there's an island or something around here named that. Oh. Uh oh. Uh, I didn't even see it being that shallow. All right. Hang on. Yeah. Drop the anchor. Let's go down below Sangria. See if we hit what happened. Oh, I don't see anything. Do you? Uh, no, oh, there's yeah, there, there's water down here. Remember, there's two decks. Yep. All right, I will go dump this overboard. Got that All such right. a fancy bucket. Go. Oh, hey, Key. Uh, did you send Zeruka a message? Why did the music change? Because uh, they're sculptments. Oh. Alright, uh, so yeah. Key sent you a message. Okay, give me a second then. Okay, so there's a pirate for over there, so we can always go for it just to see if there's anyone poking around there. Yeah. And that'd be the worst idea. Yeah. And if the Reaper's there, like last time, we we're gonna turn around again. Yeah, we're gonna leave. Alright, so I've sent them an invite to the Discord. Uh, they just need to read the rules and introduce themselves, and in the meantime, I will edit the thing so they can join us yeah he is also a streamer so oh okay cool okay cool uh, he's very rude called me a bed all the time which is inaccurate also <laughs> hey photosynthesis this jerk oh he did that's not good are you ready for this oh no yeah. they were ready for that yeah don't let them near <laughs> the water much. all right so key, yeah, key now has permission to join the streaming room uh eh. I will need to get a uh, a Fugi link from them though, if they have one. Hey there. Hello. Whoa. Hello. My hand. Yeah, let me. Let's see. Actually, I think I can just I can just get it myself. Never mind. Turn that off. I actually do have a banana with me as well. Nice. There it is. Banana. Go. Oh god, I'm gonna blow up! Ah! <laughs> well, ah! well you, lived a good, you lived a good life. Just don't do it near the ship. Yeah, please don't do it near the ship. I'm gonna blow up! No, it's all gonna go to your hips, and then you blow up. Oh, my, my hips are already massive, oh god. Turn this on. Go to color right, correction. Now I'm gonna get keys thing so he can pop up on my stream. Yep, already got it on my end. Okay, we're cool. All right. Also, key, we do have a multi-stream set up, so if you are streaming, we can uh, get a multi-stream nah, going. No? Okay. I'm I'm, I'm usually off th these days. Okay. Even though I'm, for the past two days I haven't been streaming Ooh, because I don't know what to stream. You can stream the bunker. If you like horror games, it's the captain. It is spooky. It is spooky month, and I did went on VR chat to do Siren Head and some other stuff, and uh, I was creeped out. I can cover y'all from up here with my rifle. So, so a thing I actually learned about using the blunderbuss. Uh huh. Aiming down sights will actually narrow your shot cone. Yeah. Blow. Also, having a rifle out doesn't make me more likely to get struck by lightning, does it? 
I don't know. I played too it's... much. I played too much uh, Breath of the Wild, so I'm very. I'm very. Nervous. I know this. I know, I know having a sword, sword out will make you more likely. Okay. It is metal. I actually do want lightning to strike me so I can die and take the flame. You gotta do the line. You strike don't. Me, oh, there yeah, we go. You... Yeah, don't don't revive me. Let me just perish. Yeah. Strike you don't. Me, Zeus. Yeah, strike me, Zeus. You don't you have, don't the, have balls. the balls. Or just the team for something. And if I'm so evil, then may God strike me down where I stand. What's up? Ha! Nice try, jackass. Next time, give it your A game. You don't scare me, Zeus. You can say, go on, strike me down. I've got a metal object. You don't have the balls. Oh, yeah, it's pretty white flames. That's really cool. If I'm as evil as you say, then may God strike me down where I stand. Ha! Nice try, jackass. Next time, give it your A game. God, I love abridged. Yeah. Oh, God! <laughs> well, I, I'm burning, though. It didn't kill me. I, it just it burned me. All right, well, I'm just going to do it again. Yeah, give it your A game next time, God. I'm still standing. The cool thing is you can replace the lanterns on this ship with uh Yeah. with those flames. Oh, yeah. Well, your aim sucks. You drunk up there? Cuz I would just hit the water next to me. <laughs> hey, dee, dee, dee. Uh we're just uh robbing dead pirates and I... also uh, I died and came back to life. Hey. I died, but I got better. Yeah. He died. Uh, hello, Willowed King. Uh, no, I am Zarook. Zara has to be summoned. But how you doing? Make yourself at home. Welcome. These are my heavy friends. Heavy is dead. Yeah, heavy is heavy is dead. <laughs> yes. You killed heavy. Yeah. Yes, he died. <laughs> Watch out, snake. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, what's that? A weapon? <laughs> Y'all have seen, I guess y'all have seen the actual TF2 voice actors redoing yes, that. Yes, that was really yes. good. Heavy is alive! Never mind. Oh! When I saw the medic, the guy who does the medic's voice lines had the most fun with it, and it was even more Help. chaotic. Who exploded? Me. Help. Thank you. Wasn't it in the original animation Soldier was involved? Yeah, but they couldn't get they couldn't get all the voice actors back. Yeah, Soldier's voice actor passed away a while back. Yeah, Rick May passed away, and Scout's voice actor actually retired from voice acting. Really? So he doesn't do it anymore. No, he doesn't do it anymore. He um, huh. he um, he occasionally does small things, but uh, apparently you know he did his stuff for Scout. He even did some stuff with Musulk a few times, but then he decided he just wanted to move on and do other stuff. So. As for what he's doing now, I have no idea. I was about to say because doesn't he also stream as well? He did for a while, and then he stopped. Uh, like his, then he stopped doing that. I wonder okay. if it's because it might have been rough on his voice, or just lost the energy to do it. I think it was because he just got like this actual scout. He got bored, and just decided to go do other stuff. That's, That's red. Fair. I want to show you a sword if you haven't gotten it yet. It would probably suit your style. Who? Me. Mm. Red brown. Skeletons die. All right, Zeus, I'm going to give you one more chance to strike me down where I stand. I want that really cool lightning bolt flame. If you're not going to give it to me, then I'll go find someone. Maybe I I'll mean, you right. can take it from the ship. Yeah, I, I said all the ship looks a lot. Yep. Ooh, that looks really... That, that looks kind of like a lightsaber almost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Watch That's out, this really one's behind cool. me. Where'd you go, you son of a bitch? I can't, yeah, I do want that. There I just have this ruby. Oh, there one. it is. It's <laughs> there the, it is. It's the Monkey Island tall tale you have to do. Oh, okay. So you get the cool swords on the Monkey. Island. All right. Well, I guess we'll definitely. No, have no, to don't, do don't, heal me, don't heal me. Don't heal me. Don't heal me. Don't heal me. I got scratched. Yeah. Oh, right. I have the yeah. original one if you yeah. want to see, which is all blue and such too. Mm. <clears throat> so that happened literally after I killed that pig. So, oh no, it's still green. What? Well, Take it from it. it anyway. Okay. You gotta get it for you gotta get it in your lantern. Okay. Yeah, it stays green, but it'll change color. Uh it's oh. red. Oh my god, I found a tall tail. You right. burned to death. Oh. Oh, cause yeah, I did take mostly burning damage. Yeah, it's orange, so. That's cool. 
Hey, I found this random tall tale in here, though. Seabound Soul. The log of an ill-fated captain speaks of a mysterious warship and lost souls bound for eternity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's one over here. Yeah. There's two tall tales. So we could, so maybe we could do that, or we could head for the pirate fort, which is bound to have a lot of loot if it's not absolutely, completely it's been stuffed like, up with other people. It's been like three or two years since I've done the Seabound Soul. <laughs> I haven't done any tall tales, so... Also, the sh bottom of the ship's filling up with water, by the way, due to the rain. That's, yeah, it just bucket it out. It happens. I am. Not much you can really do about it. But, uh, yeah, let's... We can pass by the fort. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. What's going on. Let's sail on out of here being like, you're good. You're, you're good. good. You're good. You're good. Here, Red, right, here's the original one, which is all blue. Oh, uh, that's really cool. Hey, yeah, hand, Zurich, have you seen the sword? What sword? Yeah, oh, that the is one cool. that he has. Uh, it's uh, like a crystalline rapier. That's cool. It's the champion oh, it's like a lightsaber. sword. Oh, neat. I want the sword of Aeons. E I thought it was Eons. Aeons, right? One of them. Is it, what, is it E O N S or A E O N S? I think it's A E O N S. That, that's a I'm you got, that's Aeons. Up. Yeah, it's Aeon. Because Eon, right. Eons is time. Aeons, yes, Aeons. I, I think Aeons is space, and Eons is time. Let's flip this bitch. How? Just talking, turn. Oh, okay. Talking about the star sword? Uh, we're talking about the fable sword, sort of Aeons. Uh. So, fun fact, in the original version of Fable, uh, the sword of Aeon. So in the current version, the anniversary edition, the sword of Aeons, and then uh, the Tear Sword, which is identically the same but color changed. They're both the same sword statistically, but in the original game, the sword of Aeons was so vastly more powerful that it was actually like a hard choice, like because it granted you extreme power for the sword. Okay, we're. But then the. Go ahead. Sorry, we're, we're trying to turn. Yeah, I was uh, about to say, there's not a lot of... We can't get out by turning to the right, so... Yeah, why aren't we turning? We are now. Oh, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Key. You're welcome. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go check under the deck. Yeah, please do that. Bye. Oh! Oh, we just... Okay. Just but, enough scratches. Oh, so we're good. We've ran aground, but we've run aground, but eh. Mm. Maybe I can try and pull us back with the harpoon a little bit. Skeleton. Perish. How's that? Uh, it's working. Keep doing that. Bonk. Oh, we're, well, almost. Bonk. We do, yeah, yeah, we so just like, aim, keep Yeah, like, stuck. aim, aim, like, behind us, so okay. we can try to, like, yeah. pull back a little bit. I am. Alright, I think we almost got it. Almost? Oh! oh little more. Almost. Yeah, come on, oh. keep going. Just, just gotta keep going. I am. There we go. Hey, there we go. Right. Nice. And that is how you flip a bitch. Yeah. What's the most magical sword I've ever come across in video games, TVs, movies, or books anywhere? Um, probably the sword of um. Oh gosh, what's it called? Um, I'm trying to remember. It was one of Bungie's first games, or one of the games they're most known for. Myth. Yeah. There's a sword from Myth that was literally like the. Uh, the weapon was literally, like, I forgot its name, but it was literally described as a light, an age of light, an age of dark, an age of kings, and an age of chaos. And it was capable of shaping fate itself. Alright. So let's get let's get turned around towards that skull. Alright. Personally, my favorite magic sword is the Throngler. <laughs> yeah, remember, folks, if, uh, because remember, the less words a magical sword has, the scarier it is. No, don't me. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't be, want to be on the wrong edge of Dark King Grootmore's Edge of Annihilation myself, but I certainly wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of the, the throngler. throngler. Yeah. Because like, what even is that? Yeah, no idea. What is a throngling? Yeah. Well, you, I personally, I don't want to find out. Yeah, neither do I. 
the what? Oh no, it's a it's a joke. It's a D and D joke. I need to get into D and D. It's a very fun. Um, last D and D I played, I played support kobold. Yeah, but that sword I was talking about, it's actually in Destiny 2. It's one of, the, like, the seasonal items. I don't remember what the sword's called, though. The Throngler? No, 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 God, no, 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 no. The, um, the sword I said that's from Myth, the one, the whole, like, you know, an Age of Light and Age of Darkness, that thing. I just don't remember the name of it. Um, I wouldn't put it past Bungie to do that, no. honestly. Um, what's it called? So can we go just a, a smidge more port? Yep. Yep. Ah. Also, Bolt, uh, no one here saw the solar eclipse, okay. unless Key did. No. Okay, yeah, it's called, the, the sword is called the Hero of Ages, is what it's called. Us, if I did see the solar eclipse, that was me just basking in the sun. Hmm. Alright, yeah, which direction are we going, Sangria? Uh, Where, hang on, I'm trying little, to little, slowly turn, but I need to turn a bit further. Oh, you got it. A little more left. We just want, we want to be aiming towards that big scary skull. Got it. Also, yes, because someone's asking me about it, uh, <laughs> I might as well mention it here, too, because uh, I have to. Um, I'm an affiliate with Waifu Wares now, so if you go to their what? web... Yeah, they're they're basically if you want to get a you know a waifu shaker and not pay out you know pay like an arm and a leg like gamer subs does waifu wears does all of their stuff you know they're an independent company small time out of the UK I'm an affiliate of theirs if you go to their website and use my code Zaruk15 you get 15% off your total and of that total 20% of that comes to me as a back commit as a backwards commission and they said if I get 10 people to use the code I can make my own waifu cup to sell. So, Ooh. Mm -hmm. I want to be a waifu. They ha they had open applications. Uh, hmm. I wouldn't mind. Tell you what, Azzy. If tell you what, um, if <laughs> you know, tell you what, since you're interested, I'll tell you what. If I get enough people to use that code, and um, you know, and they're okay with it, we can have you be on the white the first waifu cup. Don't That'd be cool. It. Oh, there's nothing in it. Damn it. It's boring. Empty. I thought I was so cool for snagging that. I mean, you're still cool for snagging it, even if there's nothing in it. You're just cool in general. Yeah. Oh my god, it freaking Delta in my chat. So one person in my chat was like, I wonder how scary a word, a word, or a sword with one letter as a name would be. Ah. And Delta in my chat says, the few words thing has the limit. The strongest magic sword in existence is called pen. That... Yeah, no, I mean, you're right. But I would counter that by saying, you know, uh, the pen is not mightier than the sword, nor is the sword mightier than the pen. A sword doesn't write poetry, and a pen doesn't kill people. <laughs> I mean, so there might, I know, Dr. John Wick. Yeah, well, there might be a ship mm -hmm. off port a bit. I can't yeah, quite tell. I'll go tell. up and look. I yes, think that's a so ship. The, yeah, there is. The, uh, off to the, uh, check my directions here. Off to the west by southwest yes there is a um yeah there is one out the, there's a thing that's working going off in northeast i know what yeah, see that ship all their lights are off a tornado oh to the northeast you said yeah northeast there's the like, uh, the athena tornado oh what Where is you? that um athena players when they do like a very hard athena mission also we're basically oh like the like the veil ones, like the veil voyages. Yeah. And stuff. yeah. I don't see it. It's behind the rock now. Oh, uh, okay. Also, I need to aim, get turned slightly to the left. Also, I just, I hear music. Yeah, so mm -hmm. do I. Is it because we're getting close to the fort? Yes. Oh, okay. So how We're do probably these... gonna start shooting cannonballs soon. So yeah, get cannonballs. So do we have to? And break? how the fort's worse is ba basically just kill everything. Got it. It's a it big old skeleton. It's a big old skeleton horde fight. It's raise just... or want to raise up the sails. Got it. Raise the sails. Go. Oh, I'll fix that. That was the... oh actually that's with the midship. Never mind. Um, raise up. That one was also through the midship. I'm on repair duty. Okay. 
Let's lower anchor real fast, maybe. Just to make sure we stop our momentum. All right, gonna raise it back up again. Okay, I think they're gonna. I think they're not firing at us anymore. No. That's just they weird. did an update. They did an update where if you're ever close, they despawn, which I don't like that. Hmm. Means it, it doesn't really help, but say like someone's coming to the same board, then the skeletons are not giving you. A all right, murder. this is my first time doing one of these, so if it's all right with y'all, I'm um. I go skeletons. Yeah, I'm going into battle. So oh, yeah, go ahead. Make oh, sure oh, you have healing items. Oh. That that too. That's a lot of skeletons. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna have to deal with a bunch of them. Uh, remember, shadow skeletons. Uh, shine your light on them. Yeah. And then well, stab it's, them. Not, it's not night, so we don't gotta worry about that. Okay. Ow. All right, hold on. I can actually cover y'all. I'm a better shot. Let me cover y'all from up here. Banana. Oh, see? yeah. Also, uh, keep it... If you can, recover the explosive barrels because a boss is going to spawn in, and these will be very useful against them. Yeah. I'm going to put them over here. I see a also, an inverse um, the emissary in northeast. Are they heading our way? No, they're like part... Also, if you go if you go where I'm at, up in this tower, there's an ammo crate. Okay, let me come over there and uh, do that then, because I can provide Overwatch for y'all. Hang on. Oh, that's not a good sound. That signals the next wave. Oh, okay. Wave two. It's all the people who want me to play Raid Shadow Legends. Raid. Okay, yeah, I'm here. I, you know, I would happily do the campaign if it weren't for the fact that I have a feeling their game probably sucks. It's not a bad game. I played it before. It's not a bad it, game. It is ported to the PC as well. Yeah. What game? Ray. Ray, Ray, Ray Shadow, Shadow Legends. Legends. Oh. oh god, I'm hang on. I need to hump on some Ow. food. I got gotcha. you. You and your bananas. Uh, Zurich, you know the charge attack, uh, yeah. perk, right? Yeah. I don't have the perk, I know how to charge. Yeah, I know how to do that. No, not like, no, like, how do you maintain your mobility while charging? Oh, that I don't know how to do. You press block and, uh, hold the charge button at the same time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Ow. There, I'm bald. You guys watch have Watch it, me. watch it. Yeah. Another one. Stay back. I oh, got hang on. Don't shoot the barrel. I'm gonna yoink it after uh, we keep. It's heading towards me. Okay, hang on. Just keep running. I'll get it. Got it. Where'd the bomb go? Oh, there it is. Oh. Huh. The, what the bomb doing? Yeah, what the bomb doing? Also, there's another one right over here near me. Bottom down here. Oh, shit. There's one also right next to you. Oh. Die. Oh, ow. ow. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I need some help up here. This guy literally just stood right in front of an explosive barrel, and I'm like, oh, wait, right as I swung my weapon. All right. I'm going to... Oh, no. I'm going to take a look-see. Go ahead. See if anyone's trying to make a move. Go ahead. Uh, that sloop's still over there, but they're not really yeah, doing anything. Yeah, the sail's anything. up. They're not doing anything. Sail's up. Probably doing their own thing. Ah! Ah! Die, you skeleton bastards. One thing I love about the charge is you can definitely plow through a good yeah. heap mm -hmm. of them. And if you hit somebody, it doesn't have the end lag. How many waves are there? A lot. A lot. Mm. Hard to say. You know when you, we get to the end when the boss shows up. Shadow Boy. Does he have a health bar or? No, yeah. but he has a name. Mm. I see no ships on the horizon right now, and that sloop still has its sails up, so we should be okay for right now. But uh, that could change and yeah, that sloop hmm they might be waiting to swoop in maybe 
just sloop right in. But there just are, but we can use in. the cannons to drive them away, can't we? We can. If we see them moving when we get to the oh, oh my, oh my god. Oh my. They, yeah, that was. Wow. Well, there goes our anti-boss maneuver. All right, we'll have to do that right away. Yeah, also, I got a combination called charred bone skeletons. Did you, you didn't do that on purpose, did no, you? No, I did not. Okay. I'm not sure there's any bones left after that. Yeah. I was trying to, I was trying to, hit, I was trying, because um, if you shoot them in the head when they got a barrel, they die and the barrel disappears without detonating. I was aiming for his head. And you I literally, aim for the legs. yeah, <laughs> shoot him in the legs. Shoot him in the knees. All right, there is one barrel up here we can use when the boss shows up. Wait, dude coming, watch out. You yeah. want me to shoot this one or not? Never mind. All right, you got leave him. the barrel. Y'all got him. Oh, wait, there's Ow. another one. Sangria, move. <laughs> I got one. Oh, and he dropped his barrel. Hold on. Yep. There's another oh, one. God damn it. Got him. There you go. Now we can re Now we can set our trap again. What can I say except you're welcome? Please don't blow those up. Explosion. Explosion. I mean, as fun as it is to explode, we probably shouldn't do it yet. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Woohoo! So, I'm still glad that they got rid of the freaking sniper skeletons. Yeah, I probably I can't imagine how shit that was. Well, they they only exist on freaking pirate ship boats. Mm. The skelly boats. Watch out, Azzy, behind you! Move! Oh my oh, god, those are two. Yeah, I see them. Remember, headshots only, or legs. I I got a blunderbuss. I can't really do that. Oh my god. Got him. Got one. I got a third hey, one on my. Could you not explode, buddy? There you go. Drop that blunderbuss. Oh shit! Ah! Oh! Oh! Help. Oh my god! Help! 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 I can only help one of you! Thank you, Key. There's one right behind me, isn't there? Uh, to your left. Yes. Alright, back to my perch. Okay, maybe okay. let's not put the barrels in, like, the center of the map. Yeah, good idea. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll move in a bit more. Was that skeleton eating a I banana? Oh yeah, the heal. You got no butt. You got no guts or teeth. How are you? Oh shit! All right, you got him. You got oh, no. Yeah. You got no guts or teeth. How do you eat? Why do you eat? It's magic banana. Magic missile. Great. So. Does everyone knows that eating bananas is from the soul? Uh, glowing red cool dude. Body. Glowing red dude. Oh, that's oh, him. Is that him? That's oh, him. Oh yeah, that's the boss. No. No, Ash and Key Mask, yeah. Oh, okay. Right. That's that's just a that's just a rare spawn. Okay. Alright, I yeah, they're pretty cool, tough, though. so I'm gonna grab this barrel. Go for it. watch out, one of the guards coming. Got him. Key. Nice. <laughs> I asked why does the skeleton need a banana? My friend Thomas says, Me he goes, I needs me potassium. Alright, did I take him out? No. Oh my gosh, they're so tanky. I sacrificed myself and everything. He was supposed to die. Uh -oh. So I believe that quest should lead you to an ashen chest, I believe. Yes. Nice. Gold patch picked up. It's a two-faced scoundrel. What's a two-faced scoundrel? You about to see. Oh no, I see him. He's a big guy. AKA is Oh my god, I'm out of ammo. Leave me alone. Run, Azzy. I got you covered. Reload drill. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Uh, he, he didn't want me around him anymore. I'm gonna check for possible uh, you... assholes. Ow. Hey, uh, skeleton, get away from our sniper. 
Key, I can't cover you from there. You gotta back down the hill a bit. I'm fine. No, you're now. Now more of them are spawning. You are not fine. Where did that sloop go? Uh, it's still there. Okay. Your ship's drifting away, though. I thought you dropped the anchor. I did, but I, just in case we get away. Hang on. I, I think the well, I think one of the explosions might have knocked it away. Just bring, use the harpoon and drag it back in. Yep. Ow! Shut my toe. Ow, my toe. My little toesies. Ah, I can't hit him from here. <laughs> the ship wanted to get away from all the explosions. Come on. Another hit. Come on. Whoa! Woo! He did a big old slam. Damn it. Ah, reload drill. Uh-oh. That's going to be a little delayed. Got him. All right, reload drill. Where'd he go? Oh. No. Yeah, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh. Wee. Die, you son of a bitch. Die! Oh, I'm out of... I'm out of... Food. Yeah, there should be plenty in the barrels around the Yeah, island, there's plenty so. in the barrels. Reload drill. Yep. But I wouldn't give to have six rounds. You can help you can hold two guns. Not a s I can't hold two sniper rifles. Yeah. True. You can hold a sniper rifle and a pistol. Whoa. What the fuck? Come on. Ah, reload drill. Why won't you die? Bullets They're fun. so tanky. Ah, ow. All right, hang on. I think I can kill. Hang I on. Please don't kill me, mister. I'm just, you know, helping my buddy out. Reload I'm drill. Away. away. Whoop. Where'd he go? Huh? Oh, hi there! Behind you, Sangria! Oh, I got him! <laughs> I got him! I shot him right nice. through the top of his head! All they, right. Literally just domed him. Now. Now we get the stronghold key. Nice. And uh, now, treasures beyond our imagination are ours for the taking. That sloop still has its sail down, so I think we can take our time for right now. Let me keep look. I'll stay on watch. I'm gonna. I'll just be satisfied that I killed him. I got the final hit. Y'all go get whatever. I'll keep watch. Sounds good. Thing oh, are they just gonna keep spawning? They should have stopped by now. Okay, so be very careful because there's stronghold kegs in there. Mhm. Mm Those are way more potent than your normal kegs. I found another stronghold skull. And I'm gonna turn the ship just a little bit. Hey, also there's a uh, there's a weird red tipped key over here. Yeah, oh, ashen, ashen key. key. Open up the ashen chest. Okay. Yeah. One of the quests we got should lead to it. So I'm gonna put this skull right here on the uh, on the rock, so y'all can winch it back in. I'm gonna get some more stuff. Yeah, is that in? Harpoon range? Let me see. Yeah, it should be in our harpoon range. Key, do you want me to start taking these over to the rock for the harpoon? Sure. Sure. Yep. Right? I mean, heck, within harpoon range, you shouldn't need to go, like, too far. This thing needs to go through three paces, these depots. Got the key. Here, we're gonna put him right here. There we go. Hmm? 
How are y'all knowing where to dig? We got a map. Oh. Now, a question. Yeah. Do we want to? Do we want to carry? So the stronghold kegs are fairly valuable. Do we want to risk carrying those? So what? Are they just like nukes, basically? Yes. Yes. Uh, your ship. You make the call. I say we don't risk it. Yeah, that's not. Fair enough. That's not. I never love kegs unless I have a demolitionist on my ship. Yeah, the only kegs I really give a shit about are the Athena kegs, which is like the the maximum tier keg that's worth actually a good bit of money. And let me guess, if it detonates, it takes you off like the fate. It just removes you it, from the game. It will pretty much sink a ship in one go. Mm. Yep, no sa if that thing goes off, no saving anyone in range. Yeah. Like... Everyone's dead, your ship has all the holes in it, you're done. Just imagine, like, what if igniting it, instead of, like, actually lighting the fuse, you instead lift it up to reveal basically a nuclear launch code key sequence that you start to put in. Ah. Volgare says, does, uh, does Azzy double as ballast for the ship? I do not. Okay, <laughs> so, good news, uh... The sloop still has its sail up. Bad news, I think I see something else on the horizon. So we may want to make a we may want to get out of here. Uh what it's direction? Andy. Uh well, again, it's probably the fog is kind of making it rough, but I think I see something. What direction is this? Uh to the s west by southwest. How much stuff's left in there? Uh it should be cleared out. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> I am tempted to take the stronghold keg, slowly swim on over to the sloop, and then just ignite it. Don't be. I mean. Thanks, Yuri. I mean. Uh, Key? Yeah? You scared I saw that thing light up. Yeah, no, he, he's standing next to me, and then he lit it, and that's why I said, don't you fucking dare. All right, if that's all the treasure, get back on the ship, we're getting the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, let's go. Let's not uh, wait around, shall we? Get the fuck out of here. I can hear you lighting that fuse behind <laughs> me. Stop doing that. Also, I thought we said we weren't bringing these. Did How you bring much are they worth? I forget. It's not... About it's... 3K. Oh. Well, okay, one. If you're going to bring them aboard, put it in the crow's nest. Yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> okay. I'm that's where we'll have the best chance of surviving it. Yeah. I'm experienced. I've been playing since 2018. Fair. Can you fight? Uh, do, I do. Yeah, I would rather use it against something. Like if we come across a skeleton pirate ship, or if a reaper follows us, it might be a better idea to just immediately use it without risking us actually dying. All right. Yeah, all that's right. That's three thousand gold. Yeah. All right. So someone. I won't mind selling it, but we still need one more level. Yeah. Also, someone just redeemed goat, so I have to turn that on. So give me a second. You are goat. goat. No, I'm not right now, but I'm about to be. No, I mean you're goat. Yeah. Greatest of all time. No, that's you. You're the captain. Alright, hold on. I personally like Zaruk a lot better when he's a goat. Yeah, yeah I know biased. you do. You're biased, though. I, I absolutely... Nah, why would I be biased? That sounds kind of silly. Red is one of the people that I know that gave me Azrael brain rot. Alright. Yeah. Alright, I'm a goat now. Oh, hang on. Let's get uh, us... Get us pointed somewhere and get the hell out of here. Yep. I'm going to use this ashen key on this ashen chest. It might give us more loot. Did you say ashen chest? <laughs> ashen. Okay, I was about to say, uh, that key goes in a treasure chest. Not, yeah. You can't tell me well, what you gotta, they you, do. You got to use it to open up your booty. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, so. All right, let me drop sails. Oh, let me get us pointed away from the island first. Yeah, I know. That's why the sails angle yeah, to the right. And do we have islands we need to go to, Mark? There's Shipwreck Bay. Uh, uh, also, so the there's a uh, Tier 4 Reaper to our report. We should get out of yes, here right now. Yes, please. God. Dropping full sail. That, that's west. Like, that's literally around the island. Oh, yeah. West. We literally killed everything. Why is the music still Brigantine. so dramatic? 
Probably because it might be okay, glitched um, out. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Can yeah. I tell you something? Yeah. As soon as we started bailing out, that sloop is now on a move. Oh. So they're oh, following so, us. That's Wes. Yep. They are now coming towards us. Oh, Bolt. they were waiting for us to finish? Sails all the way down, yep. then. Sails down. Are you going to try to... Give me a, yeah, you give give me me a heading. Oh, yeah. Down? Yeah. Sails down. Lowered sails. Yeah, we need a heading. Let's get to a port. Someone check the map. Uh, Nears Island is technically right behind us to the southeast. But we can't. Two. Let's not go that way toward them. They're gonna outrun us. Um, remember. The other location. Not unless we sail in. Not unless we uh, have us follow the winds. They can't. We're on the fastest ship if we go with the winds. Okay. So but we have to turn around. The other location is east, which is Galleon's Grave. And looking at the Reapers, they are going away from us. Okay. Hi, Vic Stein. How you doing? Uh, all right. So you got keep someone, this heading. Sorry, someone gave you a subscription. I don't normally look like this. First of all, someone turned me into a boss monster. But yeah, welcome. Thank you for being polite. We're uh, we're on the run from somebody right now. No, they're turning away. They're not. They're not going to chase us. Right, good. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna look. Okay. I'm gonna start marking places we need to go. Starting with Cutlass K. Got it. All right. You guys want me to start taking stuff below deck? We got a lot of stuff here up here on the top deck. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Got a humble gift, whatever that is. Gotta take oh. it to the Reapers. Oh. And only Reapers, sadly. Or you could leave it around and someone else could pick it up and take it to the Reapers. Then you get credit for it. Oh, that's neat. Thus, a humble gift. Ah. Wait, loser, do you mean you can't see the stream or you just. What do you mean? You can't see the game? Probably because we're so big. Well, no, I've turned down the opacity, so people should still be able to see. Oh boy, time to have we have an excuse to see Booty Isle. Amazing. What? If we keep going north, we're going to be going to the Red Sea. Oh, okay, well, give me a heading. No one gave me a heading. Southeast. Yeah, hang on, I'm marking places, yeah. Southeast? Southeast. Okay. Please, God, let the sun come up soon. Alright, see you, Thomas. Oh, okay. Oh. I still have the freaking skeleton battle thing going on. Yeah, it's same here. Very annoyed that that's still looping. It'll yeah. probably stop when something else pops up. Hopefully. All right, that's all the stuff off the top all deck. Right. Except all right, for the so all our stuff is like on the other side of the freaking map. Let's get our sails in the wind. Got it. So, which direction or which way? You can look. Start hit, okay. Start heading south. There we go. That's one. Ooh, kraken meat. Did you get kraken meat? The barrel. Oh. All right, sails are in the wind. I see a pirate or uh, yeah, a pirate ship to uh, the. Port this side. Oh, uh, what direction is that? To our northeast. Yeah, I see it too. We really uh, need to go really. south. Yeah, turn right. We could, if we took it out, we could potentially get enough treasure to get up to tier five, and uh, then I, we could sell everything. I want to just go ahead and turn some of this in. Yeah. That's a skeleton ship. Yep, they are, and they are aiming toward us. And we have a keg on board. Yeah. It's a, it's a yeah if they're it's heading for us, I can jump off sloop. with the keg. Oh, it's a sloop? Sloop. Sloop's skelly. Sloop's skelly. Alright, we are heading south. Yeah, keep the sails turned into the wind. Yeah, they're actively trying to chase us. The skeleton sloop? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, he in. All right, yeah, not anymore. Now they're not even bothering to follow us directly. They're just like, I think they're giving up.
Way hey and up she rises, way hey and up she rises. Yeah, they've given up. Good. So is this crew called the boss monsters? Well, it's in gray as shit, so. You could say we're called the... Actually, I have no idea. So, oh, there's the island we need to turn these in, right? Over there. To the, uh... Yeah, to the south, uh, southwest. Or, sorry, west by southwest. Yep. Arrgh. Let's get us aimed towards that. Okay, I think we've got a bug, because the music is still playing. Yeah. Kind of annoying. No, Vic says this is the Inflatables is the name of the group. I'm not normally a <laughs> boss monster. I'm a magical imp. It's just whenever Azzy's here, her mute, her magic overwhelms mine. Ironic. I'm, I'm here to cause... Uh, Chaos. A good makeovers. <laughs> he looks better this way. My Kraken! Please tell me you're joking. Look right behind you, Kraken. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I thought... I was... I got scared for a second. I'm like, oh, God, no. I, I'm sorry. I'm full up. You know, yes, serious? <laughs> yeah. I was, very, I was very nervous. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. That's why I said my Kraken. Yeah. Because it was cooking. Mm. Are we headed towards the outpost? Yeah, yeah to, it's to the right. A little more to the right. Unless you want to go to the the so Sovereigners. Uh, we can go to the Sovereigns because I'm a captain. Nice. Okay, well, given the fact that this music is bugged, I'm just going to turn the music off because it's getting annoying. It's it's, it's making everything un... un like... It doesn't help. Yeah. It's making everything tense for no reason. Yeah. Brace. Brace. Yeah. Get ready to brace. Either that or drop anchor. Drop anchor. Yep. Sorry. There. Drop the anchor. Ah, damn it. That's uh, fine. You're good. You're good. You're, You're good. good. You're, You're good. good. You're, You're good. good. And stop. Don't worry, Captain. We'll buff out those scratches. All right. I found the hole, the hole, and the hole. I'm patching it. There we go. There we go. All right, so uh, we should start taking everything uh, up top, right? Uh, yeah, you can do that. All right. Like, even if we're not at max level oh, yet, we have level a, four uh, is still. We have a delivery for someone called Catherine at three paces east C post. Oh, don't worry about that. Those suck. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, those they are delivery requests. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... They're Where's the guy? Paint... Oh, that red has... Uh, I'm taking it off the ship first. Okay. okay. Good idea. Can I... Oh, can I blow it up? Can I do the honors? Oh, we're selling <laughs> it. Oh, okay. Also, wait, is there not like a <clears throat> grapple line? or Do we have to hoof it all the way to where we gotta drop this stuff off? Uh, I didn't... I don't hmm. think we went to the... Yeah. We're not on the right side, unfortunately. Oh. So, I didn't realize we were already that close. Key, do you want me to drop, like, half sail so you can get us to where the harpoon area is? Sure. All right. Oh, my God, game. Stop making everything unnecessarily tense. Bum. Just handing over chest to the sovereigns. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. Intense ink air drop. Intense banana consumption. <laughs> yeah. All right, we uh. Three K. Nice. All right, we are. We're gonna take the ship around to the uh, harpoon point. We'll be right back. Okay, Doki. You need more sail, or is this enough? It's all good. All right. Also, I like how when you, how you can like offer things to people because you can just go around like, may I offer you a banana in these trying? Yeah, may times? I offer you a banana in these trying times? Oh, and so another thing we could do is we can turn in everything but the, the, uh, the uh, soul stuff and wait till we hit level five. Okay. 
Also, my merch. Jesus, my merchant alliance reputation just jumped three levels. Yep. Yeah, they oh, like those. They like they, they like that good shit. Are you wait? So are we delivering opium now? I mean, because listen, don't ask questions. We're <laughs> Look, professionals. We, they're just called exotic spices, okay? <laughs> exotic spices. Exotic butters. Ex Exotic, <laughs> exotic spices added to your butter. Yeah, we were given some of this cool butter we got uh, from like the Orient to our one of our friends here. He dropped over, foaming at the mouth. We're not sure why. Remember, this was uh, this was bef around the time where, or before oh. the time even, where they were like, "Hey, is your baby being too loud? Give them alcohol. It'll shut them right up." Yeah, that, they were like that at one point. Heard like, ah, oh, need a need a little pep in your step here, cocaine. Yeah, just fucking stick that shit right in there. Just put it in their mouth. Yeah. There you go. Do you need to? Uh, do you need your soldiers to be, you know, not worry about fatigue and to conquer your enemy faster? Here, meth. <laughs> and that's not a joke, by the way. That's oh, a, I know. Here, meth tablets. Well, they're that's chocolate it. tablets with meth. You want, you want some fucking cola? We put cocaine in it. <laughs> I'm just Zaruf, but I look like a boss monster. I don't get any power boost from Azzy. It's it's purely cosmetic. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna start bringing everything up to the deck for. All right. Azzy. Make sure it's only the uh, non uh, soul stuff. Yeah. None of the skull. None of the skulls. Got it. Just the chests and the other ah! random yeah, bubbles. Yeah, and the the gems. Got it. Yeah. Uh, hang on, is that the opened or closed ash? That was the chest? open one. This is the I closed it. What's uh, let's see, we got a Devil's Remnant, a Tome of Resurrection, and a Magma Grail in it. Yeah, sell all that stuff. That's good all shit. Right. Alright, cool. I think we'll we want to keep the other yeah, keep the other closed chest just in case we get another key. Yeah. Also a key, why do you take the whole thing back down? Because it drops down here. Yeah, but we Oh wait, it drops down there if I'm up here? Yes. Oh my god, that's a, I didn't realize that's genius. All right, let me grab this uh, humble gift and drop it up here. This humble bundle, mm -hmm. if you will. Yeah. Oh yeah, the freaking ruby gems count. All right, here's this bone rag and bone crate. Uh, okay. That I believe be. that's. Oh no, that's we got all a, the... no, we got a silver cup. Hang on. They, they won't take the rag and bone crate. Oh, they won't? Okay. No. Take that cup. Not me! <laughs> there we go. Alright, well, if they won't take the rag and bones thing, what do we do with it? Mm -hmm. What? Is it? What is it? It's that delivery note. Oh, it's a delivery note. note. Oh, yeah, just throw it in the ocean or something. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> will, they, will, they not, will they not take the humble gift either? No. You gotta take take that the reapers. Oh, okay. Or leave it for someone else. Yeah. Uh, let's hold on to it just in case we happen to pass by the outpost. All right. Hey, Holt, how you doing? Welcome back. All right. So let's get back to fucking killing skeletons so we yeah. can get our level five. Volgare says sangria polluting the ocean caught in 4K, <laughs> throwing the chest over into the water. Oh, it's not pollution. It's gonna make uh, artificial coral. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, all of all of these skulls we have in one place just make me think of that one freaking joke of like wizard asking rogue, "Listen, I need I need a pristine human skull, and I need you to not ask any questions." Okay. Only, as long, only as long as you, as you don't, ask, don't ask any. <laughs> reveals then... coat pocket full of seven pristine human skulls. Why do you have those? You said you wouldn't ask questions. No, I think the joke, my favorite version of the joke where the wizard like takes a moment and then picks one out <laughs> and they don't talk about it again. All right, I'm going to drown myself because I'm tired of hearing this music. Good idea. Oh, you just, think dying will reset it? I just turned the Hopefully. music off, so. So drown myself great idea <laughs> vix says we could throw uh sangria into the ocean but all that rubber microplastic 
So technically, on these Maybe... streams, while I'm in my shark form, I'm also uh, the same kind of thing as Sangria. Just baby? shark. Yo, I'm macroplastics, baby. Ain't no micro, ain't no micro about me. Yeah, you're right. We can tell by your uh, very shapely figure. All right. So, uh, you two dry. Yeah, better off to hang myself. Watch and learn. <laughs> <laughs> So not yeah. So I am a, turn wait, a little bit. What's the thing? I am alive. Is nice. Yes, this is stupid. <laughs> it is good day to be not dead. Oh, we're drifting. Yep, I'm turning us. I think we're done here. So we need to start heading south to go to the other objectives mm -hmm. we have. Uh, that's not a good sound. What? Just heard this. Thumb. Yeah, I heard that too. We're gonna ignore it. I think that was just me dying. Oh, yeah, there it is again. Some yeah, y'all died. That's what it is. Oh, Green Egg is here. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's uh he was on um he's gonna be uh probably more regular when I uh start streaming a Digimon game. But he was also here uh, for a time and offered some voices to uh, Coffee Talk, too, when I was streaming that. I'm just, <laughs> if you look at the resonant roster, this is what I reply with the Grinex. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? <laughs> look. Oh, hold on. What have you done? What have you done? Ah, finally, that music's gone. <laughs> yeah, I got a C2. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so where are we headed? Let's see. Cutlass K. Then we get Booty a tall. Isle. Then we get a tall tail. Nah. Uh, no, we didn't. I'm not because you have to vote for it then, so we didn't oh. vote for it. Paradise Spring. Which one's the that closest? One's, that one's that one's pretty close, I think. All oh, right, no, it's not. Uh. We're gonna be sailing for a good bit. Uh, it looks like Paradise Spring might be the closest. Yeah, it's right next to Plunder Outpost too. So just keep heading southish. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, Cat and Loot and Lauren. Within four days, we'll enter the next season. Which I want to ask them um, if you. I don't know. Does it cost money to get a guild? Like how we have to get our own guild? I don't know. Oh, it's you mean like in-game money? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, because, I'm. Um, I'm down for more gold sinks. I would honestly. ask like, what guild name would you guys? Choose. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to debate on mine. I guess the the mystical uh with uh since everyone here is a monster or some kind of creature, you know, fantastical beasts or mythical monsters or something. I don't know. I'm, I I recently started reading the fantastic beasts and where to find them. So the the sweet sea serpents. That works. I'm stuck because how Callus helped me with my captain name, like Captain solar soft sides and then my ship name with internal rest <laughs> so i'm just like internal beds internal bill balls Ugh. well unfortunately even with the sun up the clouds are so thick that it's really hard to see anything okay i keep forgetting remind me what the swirl of light is it is again that's a oh. reaper bounty also, we're coming up on some seagulls, so there might be something in the water. I'm on the harpoon. You yeah, take your bounties are interesting. Oh, wait, we got something. Ah, dang it. Wait, you might get another one. Bye, bye, bye. Dang it. I missed. Oh, oh my god, he jumped off. Yeah, he. Oh my god, he jumped off. Is there anything good over there? Shark. Well, aside from the shark. Shark. Fish. Is it, is it alive or dead? Fish. Fish. Also, it's, Hi, fish. it's raining. I better go bail out the lower deck. Yep, it's already... Yep, there's already water down here. Hang on. Yeah, but essentially how Reaper bounties work is they're, like, really valuable chests. You can turn in at Reapers, mm -hmm. but it marks you on the map when you carry yeah. it. They updated it where it actually... Sh the beacon follows your ship now. Mm. Yeah. That's a fish. A oh. fish. What? Oh. Huh. Fish. That is a. Oh. Cre oh shit! What happened? 
I got like the heat. Oh. Ah! Uh, don't worry about it. We got holes. We're good. Yeah. We're good. We need to get out of the storm. Yeah, working on it. Wait, so did the water just smash a hole through the boat? Yes. If you're in a if you're in a storm, there's a chance that your ship will take your ship will just take passive damage. Oh, okay. Well, this angle's helping. It's pooling all the water on the left side of the boat. Ah! Yep, there's another. There's another hole. <laughs> As he please, get us out of the storm. Up. You just had to Rain. open up your mouth. And when you're in the storm, it starts fighting you. Come on, I don't want to start turning now. Uh-oh. I got it. All right. Oh crap! Yeah, we are we are in the thick of it now. Can I help you, Keith? Hello. <laughs> yeah, keep going past the fort. Don't stop. Damn it! I got it. I'm already down here. Don't worry about it. No, already. I'm down here too. Oh. Oh, okay. Who do you think's been bailing water? Wait, what is that? Firework? Firework? Why? I had one. You only launch fire. You only launch flares up in the air if you're in danger, like if it's an SOS. It didn't even do anything. It just fizzled out in the air. It looks like. Yeah. That actually reminds me. I think I asked you all this before, Sangria. Do uh, do the fireworks or flares have meaning in the game? Uh, the the flares do. White flare means that you typically don't want to fight. Red flare means come fucking fight me. Yeah, come and have a or, go. Or, or warning flares. Yeah. Well. yeah. It's like, don't fuck with me. Alright, we're almost to paradise. Yeah. Paradise F six fire, Fireworks kind of just work in a way like Rock! Turn right! Turn hard oh, right! Crap. Oh, oh, god. oh god, that... Oh god. Oh god! My leg! My, my oh. leg?! The fact that they made an episode about that guy will never not be funny. Oh, didn't actually get a hole. Huh, probably scraped, probably... Middle deck, probably. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of which, let's get those holes patched up while we're not yeah. in any danger. Yeah. Because there's still holes. Yeah. There's a whole lot of them. <laughs> there's a hole in the middle of the boat. Yeah, I'm gonna start uh, raising the sails to half. Okay, dokey. So fireworks, you can just fire out of your hand, right? No, no you put them in a cannon. Okay. They do work as a um, weapon, I would say. Oh yeah, if you like, if you're able to like get a flare on someone's like ship, it's pretty much just a huge flashbang. <laughs> Not, not to mention every firework can actually, not only just flashbang, it can also like set the boat on fire as well. Yeah. If you get a direct impact. Let's get sails up. Got it. I think they all are. Ah, they all. Oh, except these. Ready on the anchor, just tell me when. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah, we're, we're drifting in slow enough that we don't need to. Okay. I don't think we're moving at all. Uh, we're drifting. I can harpoon us a little, little closer. Yeah, you want me to do it now? Okay. Do what now? The the anchor. No, we don't need to anchor. Okay. Oh. Cannonball Robo. Ooh. Yeah, the robot's good. Yeah, hey, look. Another delivery crate. 
Oh, okay, so get your lanterns out. These shadows, yeah, it's it's night, so you gotta you gotta hit them with the lantern. Oh, that's neat. I didn't know you could do that. The uh the harpoon actually stays stuck in the ground if you let go of the harpoon gun. Yeah. Yep. I'm coming ashore. All ashore, let's go on ashore. I do wonder how I'm um, trying to do the siren the siren and skull quest would be cuz Ooh. Didn't anyone see that um video about it? Yeah, it's that's that shit's going to be crazy. Yeah, and since they're trying to get rid of the freaking che cheating thing. I found Glitterbeard's journal. Essentially, the idea of the si siren skull is, it's like going to be a big treasure hunt, where you need you need both the key and the chest to get the treasure, and people are supposed to like fight over it. Mm. It's a PvP quest. Yeah. Until it actually dies down, and it becomes less of a PvP quest. Also, this is a, just a crate of goods over. Here. It's loot, Lauren. Why would this damn pig die? And now it's dead. Nice. That didn't take long. Yep. Fish. Fish. Also, just a, just a, there's a rag and bone crate here. So who, who wants to get into the, the spa right here? I'll do it. Oh yeah. Good because I have have your snake ball. Oh. What is that? Snake ball. Oh, that's cool. Venom ball. It poisons everyone on the enemy ship. Oh, nice. They need to make more. It's been too long. Oh, whoa. Oh, wait, this is a delivery thing. No, that's cool, Azzy. Yeah, it's a chanting viper's firework. Let's see. Moonlit dance. That's just a straight shot. Yeah. Fire! Why don't they explode? Oh, there we go. Okay. I guess only some of them do. Me and my big mouth. Purple parrot firework. Oh, so hey, Itokami. Uh, Itoka Thank you for uh, for the raid. Greatly appreciate it. Very nice. We're just launching fireworks in Sea of Thieves right now. In fact, I got a really big boy firework. Hang on, Where don't, don't fire it yet. Okay. Check out the size of this thing. Wait. Oh, what's that? Nice. Ooh. Yeah, I just okay, got the... This... Oh, go ahead. Whoa. Check out this one. Whoa, okay. Also, I just got the achievement Nighttime Spectator for firing... for us firing off all the fireworks. Well, every... Oh, dang. Well, every... Oh, hey, it made a shape. Yeah. Well, everyone and their grandmother knows we're here now. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say. Uh... Uh, how about this? <laughs> Do you see anyone? I don't think so. What? Now they know. Oh, that's a flare. Alright, are we ready to go? Yes. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Where's the next island? I'll get us a... We'll get, a, get you a course. It's straight ahead. Oh, yeah, straight ahead. Cutlass K. Why'd you put that anchor? I did that because um we were actually starting to drift. So I did that. Originally I was just gonna use the harpoon to hold us in place, but uh the ship kept creaking, so I'm like, eh. Oh well, no, that, that, there's that, like burns for a while. That's fine. It's yeah. not gonna do anything. Okay, I was just afraid the harpoon might like literally be ripped out of the ship or something. If like 
if the har if the harpoon has too much strain on it, it'll just detach. Okay. Also, yeah, it'll shoot back into the ship. Yeah. Also, there's the storm we sailed through. So, right there on the left. Quick to port. Just hard turn. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises. Way hey and up she rises. Early in the morn. It's right to our left. All right, raise sails. Raising sails. That's already raised. Okay, so this ain't like Monster Hunter cooking. What am I supposed to, aside from that changing color, what am I supposed to be looking for for when the meat's perfectly done? Oh, shit! <laughs> Definitely not that. Uh, when it's completely golden brown. And you hear the sizzling. Oh, like, God, there's two holes down here. What'd you guys do? Uh, ran to the island. It was uh, very you long. Hit a, hit a sandbar. Okay. All right. I definitely don't want this place to burn down, so I got to keep an eye on this. Oh, I was about to blow up. I will say that whenever you, whenever it like, so I that okay, up. so that's like halfway done. That's done. There you go. Got it. Yum. I will store that in our uh, yeah one, in our provisions. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that every time it goes through a stage of cooking, you'll notice the texture flash for like yeah. a little second. Does it even do the same for for coconuts? You uh, can't cook it's just burn. Oh, okay. I've Anything that's not meat will just burn. Yeah. Wait, a I... funny prank you can do. On, you know, a funny prank you can do on somebody is to put a banana on their on their grill and just leave. <laughs> Invade the enemy ship. Put a banana on the grill. Run away. Uh, owned by Sam says I just bought the game. Have some tips. Uh, that would be for the captain. Sangria. Any beginner tips? Uh. Uh. Sloop, sloops are the fastest against the wind. Galleons are the fastest with it. So, yeah. if you have to play with friends and you're, if you're playing a sloop, uh, and you're getting attacked by a bigger ship, go into the wind. They won't be able to follow Bomb. you fast. Yep. What the? Bomb. Yeah. Let's see. Also, uh, oh. another tip: make sure you store all of your explosive barrels in the crow's nest, to a, because that way, if they do blow up, the damage is minimized rather than being. On board your sh like right in the middle of your I ship. I will say it doesn't matter if you go anywhere above a regular barrel. It doesn't matter where you put it on your ship. You're gonna die. Because okay. even a stronghold keg will basically kill everyone. Yeah. Also, another tip: the sloop is the slowest to sink, so don't worry if you need to quickly patch up a hole. It's yeah. the slowest ship to sink. Yep. And it's also, also the most you can fear. tell when your ship's about to go down because it'll make death groans. Yeah. Yeah. Sound effects. Also, uh, people who people who fly the Reaper emissary flag mark themselves on the map. So if you don't want to fight, keep away from them. Yeah. Yeah. It is not a. It's not a good looking Jolly Roger. It is a Jolly Roger that will mark you on the map, indicating, "Hey, I'm over here. Fight me! Mm -hmm. Fight me!" Yeah, you're asking also, for you're asking for a scrap. Also, if you see a sloop with a tier 5 one, run away from them just to be safe. Yeah. Also, an ex excavator in my chest says the brig is actually now faster than the sloop into the winds. Oh, nice. Yeah, it, it is. It, at a certain angle. That's that's why I always think, like, why is the brigantine always the fastest ship in the wind? Anyway, uh, southwest. southwest. But yeah. it, the sloop is the fastest ship against the wind. Yeah, please get us moving. Got to go to we got to go to the booty aisle, which is southwest. Ah, there's so much water below deck. It's fine. Rainwater is not going to sink us. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I'm the one. Oh my god, we're about to be hit by the storm. Oh great, another one. It's chasing us. Uh, uh sails down. Are we? Are we? Are, do we have? Yeah, a lower it. Yeah, we have a heading. All right, sails down, lower the sails. Oh, that's the angle. I'm an idiot. Here, where's the, there. Oh, never mind. someone else got it. 
Are we still anchored? Uh, we should no. be. Yeah, we're going. It just takes yeah. down a bit. Yeah, we're oh, going. Oh, okay. Hope that helps. Uh, bye, Sam. But, um, I'll probably give one tip to the Ah! Bow. Got it! Ow! Ah! Ah! Um, ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> um, in December, we're going to be gaining safer seas, so if the open world pvp this is not to your liking, safer seas will help then. It's just, it will be very cut off with what can be done and whatnot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It, like, heavily nerfs your golden rep game. Why? But you can play by yourself. You play by yourself with it and three other people on the ship and just go fuck around and do whatever you want. Is that because there's too much griefing, I'm guessing? No, well, Safer Seas was the the idea of, you know, how people make alliance servers where, like, the whole entire servers back band together. Yeah. Not No PvP in the world. Mm -hmm. So, so many people were like, let's have a PvP dedicated server and rare's like no that would that will unbalance the game until they decided all right we give in on one Hello contract hit no. by Zeus. there are no emissaries there's no pvp there's no athena there's no reaper bones and there's going to be limited to no combinations to acquire in safer seas gold is happening levels are happening so these are so this is a server you have to join no, it, it's not like you have to join. It's your choice if you think, I, you know, I just want to be by myself and fish. Okay, so, but they're not forcing this on everybody. No. Oh, yeah, no, it's just an option. Okay. Yeah. It's like, if you just want to play Sea of Thieves, you just want to fucking vibe. Yeah. You just want to fucking vibe on the ocean with your friends. But if you ever want to become a pirate legend, a.k.a. Athena, you're going to have to go in higher seas, a.k.a. default Sea of Thieves, servers yeah and grind up to level 50 yep. and yep so where's booty island we are headed uh, we're, directly we're towards the booty we are on course for the booty um going with what xkv you're saying like oh they made you can't get combinations certain com combinations certain ones yeah like any of the ones dealing with pvp i imagine i hope because it, I really want to like get. Oh wait, wait a minute. That makes a good thing. Like, um, because I was about to say the skeleton thrones. When skeleton thrones literally state you need to be with another crew to do it in the seats. Hmm. Then again, some of the other Bill Grant combinations are also like you need to have another crew to do this and whatnot. Anything that requires another crew or PvP. Yeah. Also, hey there, RJ. Thank you for the raid. Greatly appreciate it. Hey, we got a uh, we got some more seagulls directly ahead. Let's see if we can snack some. It okay. makes me wonder if um, Port of Fortune would be in safer seas. I don't think so. No, I because, can hydrate. Ah. Because um. As a reminder, every season the Chess of Fortune changes to another world event. Dang it! I missed. Wow, my aim is and way off. For, for the right. longest for the longest time, season nine, the Chess of Fortune has always been in the the Port of Fortune. So I wonder where they're going to move the Chess of Fortune to. All right, but Booty Owl is off to starboard. Let's get the sails up. All right, I'll be back there in a second. I jumped overboard to see what's over here. Nope. Ah. And another another thing I will say about Sea of Thieves, just sort of in general, is, like, if you're going to be on the high seas, there's going to be people who want to be assholes. Extremely. Yeah. I, I, but, I, I don't but, know if you were... I don't know if you were there, Sangria, but I was watching Kalos' stream, and we encountered that hacker that's saying, like, fun is not allowed on Sea of Thieves. No fun. Wow. But... It's good to learn to take things in stride. Now, how up your own ass do you have to be to take the whole no fun allowed? Yeah, and if I, again, I don't know if Sang Sangria was there, but because they were about to do the Monkey Island Tall Tale, 
and the guy literally said, "Ew, the tall tale, ew." Why even? Sh I, why will s I will. I will. I will say, not everyone on the sea is like that. Yeah. How yeah. sad is your life that you have to make it a point to make other people miserable? Like that's my thing. Like I was like, if you're literally here just to shit talk and bitch, then why are you here? Go bother someone else. Go. Well, it was it was a hacker, aka he I did know. the floating flying around trick, and he, they immediately were on their ship raiding their supplies. Yeah. Well, so hey there, average goat man. I also love how he's like, no fun allowed. Yet he gets to have fun by ruining it for everyone else. So. The hacking situation really escalated when it was the PvP hourglass yeah. event. But they're implementing a quote unquote anti cheat. I'm hearing a lot of people saying it's like the actual brand anti cheat, but they can't do. Like they said on stream, if they do do anti cheat, everyone knows how to avoid that and yeah. go through that. So. Alright, two more left. Ow. I think this might get us to five. Yeah, it should definitely get us to five. Look, I'm just going to come Once. out and say, if you literally get enjoyment out of a game by going around telling people no fun allowed while you're hacking and making a mop, just being an utter dickhead about it, there's a word for you. The word is fuckhead. That's literally what you are. You are, you're not, a, like, you are a pathetic human being who literally gets off of making like, people miserable. You are right. just a griefer. Yeah. And you're bad. Mm-hmm. Like this, I feel like there's a difference between people who like play this game to legitimately joy, enjoy the ship combat and griefers. Yeah, like if you like ship combat, that's fine. But like, I think I've seen um, I don't know who it was, um, but there were there was one streamer I saw him and his buddies would go around, and if they saw people like approaching, they'd fire up a red, you know, a red and a white flare, and basically get you know shout through the megaphone saying, "Hey, we're looking for a fight. If you guys want to fight, uh, can you fire off a flare in response?" Because and, if you can, and one guy was like, and if you can't do that, just fire a cannonball off to the side. And if people wanted to fight, then they'd fight. Back up, Key. I can take care of that guy. Don't worry. Like, kaboom. Weirdly enough, kaboom almost indeed. every time I see, like, someone flying the Reaper Emissary, mm -hmm. they're always actually, like, really chill about it. Yeah. yeah. Kaboom indeed, it's, you It's the people who just want to have a good fight. Yeah. Voyage complete. Yay. Yeah, let's go sell all these skulls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kaboom? Kaboom? Yes, Rico. Kaboom. Alright, where's the closest outpost? I technically do have a um, C4 right Who's next to the north, I believe. Plunder lose. outpost. Hmm. That is true, and C4s are, like, pretty... They're they're pretty easy. Cause... Oh, C4 right there? Yeah. Mm. To our... To our right, but right. to our left will be plunder outposts. Let's yeah, just like take out that part real fast. It's right there. Right, so I don't want to unharpoon the harpoon. Yeah, I did. All right. Whee! Oh my God, he's just ran in. Well, they took my snacks. So get ready to fight, fight a bunch of ghost conquistadors. Got it. No one ex expects the Spanish Inquisition. No one ex nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Especially if they're ghosts. <laughs> oh god, yeah, that reminds me. I was playing Cyberpunk yesterday, and freaking doing a quest, one of the characters is talking to you, and it's like, well, you're going off on a conspiracy, and they're like, well, it's what... I'm kind of disappointed it was just, you know, government conspiracy. What were you expecting? And one of the answers you can give is, you can answer reptile... Uh, reptile lords, oh, werewolves, so or the Space Inquisition. If you mention that, he's like, I uh, didn't expect that answer. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Oh, we're against the wind. Eh. Right. So this um, C4 is more vegetation overgrowth. What? It's more overgrowth with um, trees and yeah, I see life. It. All right, we're heading right for it. You may want to turn slightly. Yep. Well, we'll just get sails up. Slow our roll. Yeah. All right, I got a question for everyone here because it's an interesting topic. I asked me, "Azzy, we're gonna crash. What are you doing?" Hit, hit the. I'm gonna hit the anchor. 
Oh no, it's at the wheel. But I was rushing to get the seals up. Um. Okay. Uh, cause I this is something I'm gonna I've asked a lot of people, but it's a good conversation uh, starter. Where do you go for like who do you, like what is the best pizza you can get? Like where do you order it from? Uh, I mean, no. I don't really have a favorite pizza. I typically go to Domino's just because it's reliable. Uh, I want to say I had a preference, and it was Marco's Pizza. But it all, in all seriousness, it is it does come down the preference on the cook, on how well they were taught, and how what materials and what they made. And yeah. Whatnot. Because just recently, I went to Johnny's Pizza, and like this pizza is amazing. But if I want to say like a quick bite pizza, I would say either, well, Little Caesars, depending on how well it's cooked, or Marco's Pizza, or any of your local town fast food pizza yeah. or so. This one place, um, I don't remember. It's a chain. I'm trying to remember uh, what they're called, but they were they're known for their flavored crusts and everything. Mott's pizza? No, 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 no. Um, I wish I could remember what it's called. Okay, apparently I drowned. What? Did you get sent back to the boat? Yeah, I got sent back to the boat for some reason. Oh, you got, like, stuck in a weird... Black screen. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's, like, Louis or something. I don't remember. But they uh, they were known for their flavored crusts and everything. Uh, There was a pizza place I used to go to a lot back when I... In my old place called Sopranos. And uh, this place fucking ruled... They had a one of my favorite pizzas from them was actually one called the Drunken Goat, huh. and it was <laughs> it was essentially a pizza with uh, roasted red pepper and goat cheese. Mm. Goat cheese is definitely not for everyone. It's to me, it just putting goat cheese on like a good like cheese pizza is just like it just makes it better. Yeah. Uh, I at one point I don't remember where it was, but it was it was when my family was on vacation. Uh, there was a place that did a mm, did a really fancy pizza, but it eventually just boiled down to like really good chicken, um, with some other stuff, and then they used blue cheese as the cheese Ooh. of choice. Now I will be the first to say, good idea, tastes really good, but the problem is with blue cheese, and this stands with other cheeses too. If they are super duper strong, you can't eat a lot of them. So. Mm -hmm. That's why I like goat cheese. It's a bit lighter and more just complements like the mozzarella more than yeah. anything. Don't get me started with mozzarella sticks. Yeah, but that's that's not even legit mozzarella. Like I love mozzarella sticks. Oh, okay. Um, is if I do a little bit of a tangent, I had yeah, with go someone. Ahead. Go for so it. So I ordered mozzarella sticks. It took them about ten minutes. I'm like, that doesn't usually t take that long. And by the time they g give it to me, I, I I touch it and feel it. And I'm like, it's a bit cold. And I and I gnaw on it. And I'm like, it's not stretching. And I'm like, you let this sit outside. Yeah, it's the problem. With I think the. Go ahead. I was gonna say the worst thing I experienced I've had with it. It wasn't with uh, any pizza place, uh, but with for, like food not being perfectly prepared. For me, the worst was when I freaking went to this. Uh, Japanese place and I asked for takoyaki and I took a bite and the middle of it was still frozen. Uh, uh, I hate that. Um, mm. That's uh, a health hazard. Yeah. yeah, a similar experience for me is I went to a pizza place with my family once and here's the thing. Uh, I like cooking and because of that, I can tell when you're cheap or I can tell when you've skimped. So like... This is a really good pizza place that we're going to. So, you know, sure, they're known for their pizza, but they do other stuff. So I asked for one of their pastas, and I get their Alfredo, and the moment I try it, I'm like, this is literally the Alfredo from a jar. You didn't make this. You literally just used a jar. I'm like, you can tell. I was this like, is that... some fucking ragu shit. Basically, yes. And I'm like, you've got to be Gordon kidding. Ramsey. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. All right, I've got a chest of the damned. i got to get... Uh, gotta get back on the ship. I have a, I have a rowboat across the side. Oh, you do, yeah. The captain and, has spawned. And look, here's the thing. I know, I know certain things can be kind of hard to make and time-consuming. I know that. Naturally, a restaurant or a place, 
you know, or some kind of small town pizza place doesn't have the time for that kind of stuff. I get that. However, Alfredo, for God's sakes, takes no time at all. So if you're cheap, you're just choosing to be cheap. So I don't like that. All right, I've got one of the chests. I just got to find the rope where the rowboat is. Yeah. All right. I'm, oh wow, I'm having the battle music still. Oh, lovely. Oh, this is just. Whoa, that was weird. That was very weird. Oh, so this is just gonna be a thing, huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it, it seems so. Well, time to hang myself. Yep, time to hang myself. Watch and learn. Uh, where, where'd you say the robot was again? Yeah, I'll show you. Now, pick up the skull. Don't sit on the chair to make the skull up. Go. That's not a good sound. So, uh, does the groaning, like, un kind of like the groaning of an undead person mean anything, sound wise? Oh, that's part of the, um, the atmosphere. Okay. Because this is like a ghost sea fort in a way, yeah. just more materialized. Also, if we have any meat, uh, they have the four burner stove. Huh. Let me check and see if we got any. What's like, that can, do? Uh, it, it has four burners. You can cook four oh. things at once. It also has like a map on. Like these are these can actually be kind of used as like like little hideouts if you take mm -hmm. them. I actually know some people actually. They made use of it, like say like they made it like their own entire storage, and like they defended it off like from raiders and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But reminder: if you're going to be doing this, always touch your loot again that's where you can reset the timer because if you don't touch it within like 30 minutes to an hour it will despawn mm -hmm. all right unless it's on the ship did, they, did we get all the stuff from up top also did y'all open the arm like the armory or whatever it was like where they're keeping yep. all the treasure okay there's like a emerald on the top Emerald. Emerald. Can you not shoot fish and capture them? No. No. That's dumb. You cannot do it the Texas way. <laughs> Be like, you howdy, little fish, and then you shoot them. I have to drown myself again because music. So, what, you have to fish them out, basically? Yep. Yeah. Like you, a normal person. Do you start with a uh, fishing rod? Yeah. Oh yeah. You yeah. just need bait. Oh. Okay. Well, you and can you can bait. easily get bait by like just digging into dirt. Yeah, randomly. I know. You gotta get you some grub. And do you have to cast into a school of fish, or will they just come to the? Um, you can just cast anywhere. Mm -hmm. Though where you where. Like the in, like the environment you fish in can determine what fish you get. Yeah. Like for example, like if you like are fishing in a storm, there's like special fish you can get. Yeah. All right, I think that's everything. Grab some cannonballs just cause. You heart of nature firework crate. crate. Um, I am also going to kill myself. Zangria, no! Because it is. I also <laughs> am hearing the fucking music. What was. Don't take that out of context, everyone. What was that? Someone died. Oh. Probably key. Hmm? What? I'm just seeing chicken. Ah! <laughs> It, uh, it pulled off, ah, it took my bait and 
pulled off my fishing rod. Dang it. So the trick to fishing is you have to pull the rod in the opposite direction the fish is pulling it. Okay. So if it's if it's dragging it right, pull it left. Got it. And if it's pulling away from you, pull the stick, pull the rod upwards. Got it. God, the Zimmerl is freaking bright. Have any of y'all seen Markiplier's Iron Lung trailer? I have not. I yep. want to. Yep. I haven't, but I wonder if he's actually going to try and get it released in theaters somewhere or something, or if it's just going to be on YouTube like usual. It would be cool if he actually managed to get like a movie theater release. It. I would say they would give him good money, but if you know how marketing is from um, movie theaters, they have like pay so many theaters yeah. like hey please show this movie and get the money to return back i i think he's i i would say i hope he has it like in a select few regions that ha can show it but who knows mm, great because I, I would feel bad if i would have to watch it on youtube only Because his other movies were on YouTube, because you know, YouTube yeah. presents yeah. Space with Markiplier, which is like I actually the... watched that recently. That's fun. Yeah, but it's one of the it. only things that YouTube presents like had to offer. That's a fun little little choose your own adventure type thing. Yeah. And then there was like Markiplier's Heist. Heist with Markiplier. Pink. Then yeah. there was like the the game theory thing where they like tested all the different games and all that or stuff. Oh, so I like looking at the ghost treasure chest because they make a reality start to like be a bit funky. Yeah. Sort of ended. Yeah. It's just it amazes me that Markiplier is making a movie over a point and click. Um, but it's sort of point and click. You, you actually do move around. Yeah. In the sort of ship you're in, but. Damn it! it you just, damn fish! Oh. It because okay. the other person I know that took very. It took a very long, detailed video explaining Iron Lung was pyrocynical. Yeah, he did do that. Alright. So. What do we do now? Mm -hmm. uh, turn in all the loot. North is plunder outpost. Yeah. Yeah, let me just... Eh. Oh, you're just trying to wrangle the rowboat? Yeah, the yeah. film the film gets the re might get the record for the most blood shown in a film, and apparently Mark had to go to the hospital because of a lot of artificial blood got in his eye. Oh, you watched the Distractable as well? No, I have it. Uh, no, he no he went to the hospital. Like, there's a Twitter account basically Mark going to the hospital. Yeah, um, he, he I listened to his podcast and it went over about that the fake blood got into his eyes. Yeah, and. That's how it happened. That's why they, they look so red is because, well, you're not supposed to have an amount of so much fake blood in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Everyone's just like, oh my god, is he dying? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, if you saw the trailer, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> yeah. But let me see. What was the most, what was the most blood used in? Yeah, because, like, people don't know that, you know, fake blood is not, like, red water. It's, like, an actual substance they have to make. Got a lot, of, a lot of chemicals in it, and it's not good for your eyes. Hey, I got one. Hey. So, if he's going to be going against... So, if Mark says he's going to be the, the highest amount of fake blood, he's going against... 2013's Evil Dead that used about 50,000 gallons of blood. Oh, that's wow. Okay. Come on. So if he, there we go. If he's saying he's bigger, he, he's more than that, then yeah. So you can cook the fish you catch, right? Yep. Yes. It's meat. 
Anyway. I called an Let's almond ancient scale. Whoa. Remember, boys and girls, if you're cooking any kind of fish, remember, once it turns white, you can eat it. Because white means it's been cooked. All not right. in the, not oh. in this game, obviously, but... I'll get us headed... Headed north? North, yeah. Yep. There we go. Perfect. There you go, Sangria. One cooked fish. Whoa. That it's shit. In, it's in your food storage. Also, uh, do you want me to put these chests down in our where we've been keeping them, or? Okay, never mind. Oh, just hanging them off the robo first. Okay. All right, I had to have us sort of aimed at the outpost. All right. We'll have to get around the island first. What's that, that big? What's that trick you... Oh, actually, we've already turned around. Never mind. Drop sails. Aye, aye. Drop sails. Drop sails to full. It also makes me, like, scared, like... <laughs> Because you you know what happened in Iron Lung, right? As yeah. Final. Yeah. It makes me wonder, like, what CGI beast that market player is going to be making of freaking fish. Well, considering we don't know what the full thing looks like, we won't get a full thing. It'll probably just be, like you said, a CGI image. Yeah, because technically there, there's two fishes if you yeah know, like... Yeah. If you basic for those who don't know, in the Iron Lung game, if you actually do a bit of exploring, um, unprompted, you can find the remains of the of the first submersible they sent out, that was destroyed by like this giant ass thing, uh, that you can get a picture of and only see its eye. That's the that's the bigger thing. The thing that attacks you at the end of the game. Whoa! My dog. What happened? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Um. The thing that attacks you at the end of the game, that's the smaller <laughs> of the creatures. Yeah, just imagine Markiplier comes out being like, listen, I very much value honesty and oh. integrity in all my work. So for our film, Iron Lung, I've actually created a Kraken to use in our film and fought against it myself, barehanded. It's just to see if I could take it. I'm not a masochist. I just want to see if my body could handle fighting. How do I get a, a hellhound like that? Money. Oh. Real money? Uh -oh. Money. Real uh -oh. money. I hear shark sounds. It's yep. to the left. The Solomon Groves. Do we want to fight the Meg Megalodon? Great, we can. Yeah, let's go. Uh, All right. I Drop I guess, anchor. I guess brace for that. Drop anchor, grab balls, and get ready to shoot it in the fucking face. I'm coming, Zabon. Quick, grab my balls. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Lord... Lord Freezer, Vegeta's really giving us a pounding. <laughs> yeah, try to get some pot shots off, pot shots off on it, and then if it rushes us, hey, you know what? Shoot it. <laughs> Please or don't. You know about harpoon? What, what does harpooning it do? You want to see? Fire! Oh, it's coming! Nice! Nice! I think we still got hit, though. No, no we didn't. Oh. He put a lot of cannonballs into that thing. Mm-hmm. My dog! <laughs> uh, so, Megalodons actually are scaled, depending on, like, what ship they're attacking. Yeah. Makes sense. Where is he? Oh, he's over uh, here. The freaking waves. Yeah, so what happens if you hit it with the harpoon? Don't leave us in suspense. <laughs> if it can... Was it start pulling the ship? Oh, oh get ready. Oh! Ah! 
No yeah, one I was heard. firing. <laughs> I was. I hit him. I got I the was. sound effect. Really? Yeah, I got the. Yeah, yeah I, I hit didn't, him. For, I didn't see anyone on the cannons for some reason. Is someone down below need, doing we, repairs? We need repairs and bailing now. Got it. All right, I'll work on it. I'm going down too. I got the shark. Oh shit. All right, I'm fixing the hull. Someone bail the water. There's too much sea in this ship. All right. When you're done with that, get back up and get ready to fire. All right. The holes are patched. Where is it? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, here it oh. comes. Oh, shit. It's in, it's in a bad angle. Get prepared. Got another hit. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. Oh, shit. Don't worry, don't worry about me. Get, get Take care of the boat. All right. Going down below. Got it. I see it. All right, holes are patched. We just need to get the water out. Good work. Shark is in the front, coming to the right. I mean left, yeah. Left. I got him. Ow! Oh, shit, I, I wasn't help. ready. Help. Uh, I wasn't ready. I, I got. It's also, it's the shark's uh, she because it's called the Crescent Queen. Oh, it's a she. Uh, All right. All right, I got underwater repairs too. Yeah. Then I can happily say this, quoting Kill Bill, tear the bitch apart. <laughs> it's gonna shove coconuts into my face. It's gonna come, it's gonna sneak attack us. I see it. Where? Oh. Oh, here it comes! That oh, angle yet again. Uh, nice. Yeah, we got it! Oh! Not dead, but we got it. That was close. Starboard. Starboard? Got it. Bad angle. Heading toward the rear. Wait, why are you why are you raising anchor? Usually, when it comes to the megalodon, you can also spin your ship. Here it comes. You can always constantly get it. Right side, right side, right side. There it is. Uh, ah shit. Not bad angle for this cannon. Yeah. I'll go underground. Yeah. All right. Also, sangria. What? The fact that you fired and it went right past it just upsets me. I hate that. I, that was that was like the best angle I could get. Where is he? Ah, there she is. Short. I got her. I need more cannonballs, go. though. Yeah, head downstairs and grab some more. I did. Oop, I need more, too. Shit. Oh, shit! Incoming. Here she comes! Ah, bad angle! Damn it! Don't worry, I got it. I'm already down here. All right. Yeah, I couldn't, like, I could not turn the cannon hard enough. There's no spigot guns. We can't, like, we don't have tiny cannons at the top that we can get, like, a full... You know, like 90 degrees on, or 180. Which a lot of people have been asking for that. Yeah, spigot guns. They, they, yeah. Te they teased it in Monkey Island ship. Just going to the front. Oh, I harpooned pull, it. Pull in, pull in. Oh, God. No oh, crap. Bad angle. I, I hit her, but that hurt me. Also, uh, saves up. All right. How's the damage looking? Uh, we need get some we need some bales down here. All right. Oh, it's crap! She's coming not. back. Wait, what? Already? Ah, yeah, already. I got the bales. All right, I'm loading the cannons because y'all just keep firing and like leaving them. I gotta load them so we can fire them if need. Like we gotta rush. Also, tip: keep the cannons pointed straight so we can actually it's less time to aim them.
She's over there. She's heading to the rear of the ship. Coming around. Ah, this side. Here. Right side. How? I'm dead. Fuck, I'm dead too. Gotcha. Hang on. This bitch of a fish. Bail quick. Yeah, I'm go. I'll bail. You guys man the cannons. Jeez. I'll bail. Oh my god, it's attacking again. Ah, damn oh, it! I'm down. Everyone on repairs. Yeah, go get Azzy up. We gotta fix this thing. Oh, there's a lot of holes down here, guys. Thank Just focus on the holes. Come on. Ah, damn it! This stupid fish. All right, we are. Hey, Chili Barra, and uh. I need. I gotta get wood. I, I'm out oh, of wood. Oh, hey, Chili. Just yeah. grab some more wood. Yeah, we need grab all. Some more wood we need here, all buddy. hands on repairs. Yeah, yeah hang on. I'm I think that's. Soon. Oh nope. Hang on. There she comes again. Fire! Oh my fucking god! We're oh, all damn. bailing. Okay, raise anchor. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Hang on. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I. Okay, all the holes are fixed. I never really drop anchor on the megalodon. This gonna okay, be honest. Sorry, I didn't. It's all right. Because whenever you have um, anchor risen up, you can churn the ship. That's where you can have a constant fire on the shard. I just kind of thought it always went for the sides. No. Here she comes. <laughs> Got her. Damn it. What? God damn it. How many can so, Help, I need to get healed, please. I got you, I also, got you. Also, how many cannonballs is this bitch so, gonna take? Here's the thing. We're kind of fighting the shark on a default setting. What do you mean? If we, the So, how the Sea of Thieves bosses work, if you have a smaller ship size, they have they lessen the health. Currently, there we're fighting no the shark on a turn. default setting of the health. Okay, but we've done that... We've done that before. Uh -oh. Okay, what, what, around ship, this what, what ship size? Uh, galleon. Gotta get those pot shots. All right, I'm almost out of cannonballs. I gotta go restock. It's, it's coming. coming in. Unload. Die. What? All right, we got it finally. Fuck it. Fuck this bitch. Good. Nice. Huh. Well done. Sorry, that was that was my. No, don't worry about it. I, I would have been stressed it's too. All, good. all right. Is the I just I was with a crew that that drops anchor once and I thought that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay, let's no. start pulling this stuff up. Can they, we got, uh, can I would say they, they drop anchor because it, when the shark hits the boats, it does move the boat. So if you're like knocked off, you're also moving at the same time. But it kind of helps if you have the anchor risen up and turn the ship in a certain way. That's where we can have like a constant fire as it spins. Okay, here comes the stuff. Can we at least drop anchor so I can get a good line on these things? Oh, we're not moving. Okay. Are we? No, we're not moving. Uh, what's the point of finding Megalo? Uh, you get loot. Yeah, and, the, 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 and shark meat. You get meg meat. Okay, I pulled in a lot of stuff. I don't see anything else. Unless, might be because it's dark. But do you see any more sparklies? No, none. I think then. I think we're good. There's only one shark meat? Yeah. I see them. Oh, wait, hang on. Well, grab it and I'll pull you back in. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, Ooh piece, piece of candy. candy. Ooh, piece of candy. All right, hook me before I'm fish meat. All right, hang on. Gotcha. Third time's the charm. There we go. Okay, where the fuck are we pointed? Found a peculiar relic, whatever that is. We're right next to plunder. It. Yep, we just gotta turn a bit, and the outpost is to the northwest. All right, let's get okay, out of here. Good day's work, or a good few yeah. days' work. Also, Are there any skulls in it? No. Ah. All right, I'm gonna patch the holes in the mid deck. Oh, were there any skulls in it? Yeah, there was an actual bounty or a hateful actual bounty skull. Oh. What 
fuck oh, and I that? can see the sovereign point over there too. Sovereign port. Ah. And this bitch did a number on the mid deck, and there there is not a section of the wall in the mid deck that doesn't have a hole in it. So Sangria, uh, priority one, I think, should be getting wood when we get back, because your wood barrel's almost out. I can get, I can pick up a supply crate. Okay. What is that sound I keep hearing? Uh, the Megalodon ZL or the Kraken Yell. Oh, if that's the yeah. case, we should probably get moving. Uh, we're fine, unless there's a vent in the air. The Kraken only spawns if there's no vent in the air. I don't think... Sangria, we've never fought a Kraken, have we? I mean, you I have. Fought, I have encountered a Kraken exactly one time in this game, and I was fucking solo sleeping. Oh. Amazing. Uh, and also... I had no clue how to deal with it. There's a uh, ghost ship event in that area. If we That's get not. Supplies. It's a skeleton ship. Yeah, that's skeleton ships. There is a difference. Oh, okay. oh, okay. Last time it used to be Flameheart, which was ghost ships. Now it's just like a green tornado that indicates ghost ships. Ghost ships. Okay, someone instruct me. What is the point of having a brig down here? Uh, oh, that's basic. Really... If someone's being an asshole, you can vote to put someone in the brig. It's ah, time out. Okay. All right, let's get start getting sails up. Got it. Sails up. Raise sails. All right, sails are up. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. So everything. Wait, who's everything? Who's pulling All the? the Wait, why are you raising the anchor? Because we're at a complete stop now. Okay. Yeah. See, see thieves um, habits and also. Okay. I uh, never have the anchor drop at any island because right. you know. So yeah, everything. Got it. There's all the skulls. Oh, all the skulls. What about the treasure? Well, I mean, well, I mean, every, yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Okay. Everyone! Everyone! Get send in everyone. Everyone, everyone! Anyone remember that old Team Fortress 2 where it's like Heavy's party and he's like, Scout bring everyone, or it was like Sprat Spy. He like went to like a low budget blockbuster. Huh. Um, this, uh, actually just, I think everyone knows this one. Uh, but I'm sure you've seen the video of the two heavies who are like, um, they get like one of those captcha computer things, and it says like, you know, you're supposed to type out what it says. Mm -hmm. But instead, it's a question. It says, uh, it goes like tits or ass, and the heavies are like both, both, <laughs> oh, both. Yeah, that one. both is good. They say both, and then the cap the, the captcha thing's like, this is not how captcha works. Then they point a gun at it, and it's like, okay. Oh, it's fucking putus engaged. Yeah, putus engaged. Yeah. <laughs> See, also, Tilly Brian in my chest says, I always drop anchor. I know it's not meta, but like last time I tried not putting up the anchor despite having my sails on my ship drifted so far away, a mermaid spawned. <laughs> that means you have one um, sail at least down still. Yeah, if the sails are fully up, the oh. ship will not, should not move too much. A good thing you can do is drop anchor to get it to a complete stop, then raise it. Just don't leave the ship with your anchor down. Yeah. So you never know when around nope. the horizon is another ship coming to fight you, and you have to raise that whole thing up. Mm -hmm. You gotta get the fuck out of here! Pork, cho pork chop sandwiches. Oh shit! Get that fuck out of here. All right. Is that everything? I think so. Yeah. Let me check. Hold on. Uh, except that humble gift that we can't do anything with. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Let's start. Let's take it in. And start selling some stuff.
Who's prepared to have their screen literally flooded with prompts because we're going to move faster than the game can keep up? Unless you're like me who is kind of maxed out almost everything. You won't get that prompt of leveling up. Until they decide to increase the tiers for the emissaries. Are they going to do that? Who knows? Maybe. It gives more of the veteran players a reason to play more than every update. Because, to be honest, I finished the season... Like, oh, no. Where are you the, going? Why? In, in the midway point. And it's just... It, it felt very lackluster when it was, like, the community day or, like, Monkey Island. Like, oh, I'm done now. And then... But, like, when we're having, like, three things happening in see, um, season 10, I'm like, this will hold me for the next season. Oh, yeah. Look at those... Look at those fucking... Skulls. What skull went for fucking 3k? Plus, I like, 4k. I think that was the stronghold skull. Oh, uh, okay. There okay. we go. There we go. That's some cash money. Yeah, I can now actually get my own ship. Hey, alright. How much is it for your own ship again? Half a million. Hmm. Or a galleon. Or a galleon. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got 300, uh, well, 360,000 gold, 185, whatever the blue things are, and then 100 skull tokens. Amazing. So skull what you going to name it? As I don't I don't know what I'll name it yet, actually. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I will say be careful what you name it because you have to pay to rename it. Yeah, I know. Uh, well, I didn't know, but I'd assumed. So I'm it's trying also, to think it, of... It's also the thing is like if you're going to do the galleon, just be aware if you don't have a lot of people for the galleon, maybe go for a sloop or a brigantine, depending on if you're going to be playing on it. But that's just me. I I I'm just going to be honest. When they gave the option to let us buy our own ship, about sixty million of my coins went down the gutter. Hmm. I I used to be like nearly ten ten million. Um, coins. Now I'm like back to one million. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that whole the whole entire ship update may be like plummeted. Well, I mean that's good because we need more gold sinks. Yeah. Maybe I can name the galleon Hyper God Dreamer. That'd be cool. Oh, that'd be cool. That if it has cool. enough room space. Yeah, we'll see. Just know that if I spot you in the seas, Red, be, ca be careful when you see the internal rest with Captain <laughs> Softsides. Hmm. The Rosebow, like you're using Well, the thing is, like, they're g I'm going to get one of each size, and I want the Galleon, the biggest one first, and then I'll save it to get the others. You know what I kind of wish you could do? I wish you could ride the harpoon like a zip line. That would be kind of. <laughs> yeah, that'd, that'd be, be awesome. so cool. Yeah. That would like actually make boarding like really cool. I'm still waiting on that one leak of the boarding axe, but they that will never come. So how do you how does one get uh these combinations? Like one of them is the generous giving for many. Like what are some of these commendations? So you know that humble gift. Yeah. Well, there's a variation where it's called the generous gift. Okay. And you need to sell that. Mm. You shot my dog again. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> You're messing with solar. That's worth it. So if you if no one on your team has a ship, this is a captain ship specifically. But if you're just starting out, you start with just a regular old ship that you can customize. But a captain ship is named, that lets you get access to this port, which makes like selling stuff way easier, and it'll save all your customization options for the future. Yeah, it's it just it it makes it your ship, not yeah. just a ship, you know. It not to mention when guilds come out, um, what, whatever guild you're in, you can donate your ship. That's where anyone else can play, go on your ship and play as your Hi. ship when you're okay. offline or so. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I've bought myself some new firearms for the, uh, you know, to play the part. So 
So yeah. when it's when they say donate your ship, does that mean that you just you don't get access to it anymore? I think you can access it still. It's just you're allowing people to actually use your ship that you know like oh if they don't want it's basically saying like hey I'm using your business suit even though you're asleep right now. Oh okay. It's, it, 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 the, the guild is going to be very complicated because you, it's like um you know how pirates do with like oh if you're in a pirate oh, fleet you gotta pirate. at least like pay contribute to the person who made the fleet so whatever you make on your guild it will go to the person who made the guild as well like mm. they don't have to do anything like they're getting paid at least <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's generally the idea, I suppose. So, like, what's the benefit, then? Um... Aside from the ship sharing. Uh, I'm wanting to say there's a possibility you can make... You can do a guild, so, guild server, but I'm unsure. And... If you do en enough of these, you as the guild master and like the guild attendees will get like exclusive outfits by doing these combinations or so that deals with guilds or so. That's what they said in the trailer and whatnot. I see. Yeah. It's very confusing. What time is it? But um, it only holds up to what they said. I think it holds up to 24 people max. So it's about 3 o'clock now. Yeah. Do you want to call it here? Uh, might be a good idea. Yeah, one second. Let me just put Because we don't really have enough time to go on any other adventures, really. Yeah. And I'm me... only available for the next two hours. So yeah. Let me put on my new duds real quick. But no, this is a very productive session, though. Yeah, very. You did a fucking fort. That never. I've never seen a fort go that well. Someone always shows up to fucking crash the party. So, here, here's the thing. Forts used to be very, very um, crowded during the beginning of the game. Now that the fort is like the very beginner thing, no one goes to it unless you, you're like a reaper and it's like, I'm going to mess with this guy's day. They're a level 5 reaper doing a normal fort. They must be runaway reapers. But um, if you go to the Fort of Fortune, yeah, that's just <laughs> how the slogan goes. That's just World War Three all over. Yep. Okay, hey, Sangria, check it out. So, got myself some new duds, and I got myself a new rifle fitting for the task, so. Oh, I like it. And the, and the sword. Yeah, show them off. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right, but yeah, if we want to call it here, that's cool with me. Oh, I have I have a funny emote. What's that? I don't know if I showed this to you. You have not. I have hmm. a pocket snake. Oh, pocket snake. Better than pocket sand. Just throw a snake at somebody. Pocket crab. There's also pocket rat. Hmm. Oh wait, we have to turn on the turn in the emissary thing. Right. Yeah, let's out. go. W one more payout. We yeah. gotta clock out. I will admit, one thing I wish they would do is like, if you depending on like the, uh, like, what kind of cosmetic you put on your like, for example, the sniper rifle, that it would change like the look of like firing the round or something. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Like tracer rounds. Well, no. Or, yeah, maybe, but, like, for example, if you get, like, the one that has, like, the, the jade dragon on it, like, maybe it glows, em like, jade or emerald when you fire a round out of it. So, tracer rounds. Yeah. Tracer rounds, or maybe, like, you know, maybe when you fire it, it looks like a little dragon. Like, the tracer looks like a little dragon or something. Like how this is. Let me show you. Yeah, like that, but when you fire it, it would fire, like, a little dragon out of it. Yeah. I would say they could do that, but they're like, it's too much work. We are working on bigger stuff. Yeah, like what? Uh, a lot, yeah, honestly. I, yeah, I, I, I still love this pistol. It's, oh, that looks really good. Oh, my God. 
It now, looks like it's from freaking Remnant. So this is the Mask Renegade pistol, and the only way to get it is leveling up through the Emissary of Reapers. Mm. Dang. And what I mean by leveling up in the Emissary, this is monthly. You have oh. to keep on leveling up in Emissary value. Oh. Or they take it oh. away. Or they take it away. No, that, it's a good thing they don't take it away. I, I'm, I have it. I have it too. I didn't even realize it. Yeah. So press start. Go to your pirate log. Go to repetition. Repetition. Yeah, repetition. And go to reapers. Go to reaper bones and go to emissary le leisure and then ledger. Ledger, sorry. Um, and it's always keeper or master where you get your rewards. Okay. The first rewards are going to be ship parts. The next parts are going to be weapons. Then the next is this basically equipment that hmm. they're now doing i'm hoping to god that they make separate clothing pieces if they're going to be doing clothing because i do not want it to be an outfit hmm. this is the pistol i normally use yeah the wild rose pistol this is the aristocrat pistol oh, okay yeah i use the wild rose it's pistol. got a, it's hmm. got a nice rose gold look to I use, it i usually use the epony pistol it's also just like, as far as using it as a gun, it like actually has like a good iron sight. Mm -hmm. Iron sights really help unless you want to be the um the people who use the sea dog pistol that kind of its barrel is kind of an iron sight, but like the other pistols that don't have an iron sight, it's just basically trying to understand where is the iron sight if you want. Like, maybe one thing you could do with, like, for example, with this emerald, uh, with this emerald dragon cutlass, like, I heard someone suggest this, like, in the areas that are, like, have, like, a lot of magic or that are mystical in nature, like, maybe, say, a, uh, a mermaid cave or some of those, a mermaid shrine or stuff like that, you could actually see, like, this ethereal dragon on the blade or something, like, because the magic is, like, changing the weapon's appearance or something, which would be That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that would be a cool idea. But anyway, yeah, if we got to call it here, then I think that's best to do that. All right. So, we had a pretty go productive. Yeah, this was fun. Yep. All right. I appreciate yeah. it. I'll talk to y'all later. Thank you again. It means a lot. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Quick question. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. I thought Azzy had something to say. All right. Well, let's pull my back over here. All right. I hope you all had fun. I know I did. Uh, means a lot that you guys uh, show up for this. Let's see if there's anybody we can raid today, shall we? Uh, let's see. Who is available to raid? Anyway, it's always good. It's good to be back to see if thieves. We'll do party animals again. I actually plan on streaming party animals on Friday. So hopefully I'll be able to find some players for that. But uh, let's see who we can raid today, shall we? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Wow, not a lot of people online right now. Um, let's see. Let's go raid. Uh, yeah, Osiris. Uh, Osiris Imanu. Uh, looks like he's playing. Is this the original Battlefront or is this EA's Battlefront? Osiris. What is this? If this is EA's Battlefront, I'm leaving. Um, it probably is. Uh, no, it's screwed. We're gonna go say hi to Nemesis Ravenbane, who I believe is playing. Uh, is this old RuneScape? I think it is. I think maybe. Let's see, but we'll go say hi to him. So let me get this set up. As always, it's been a privilege and a pleasure to entertain you. I hope you all had a great time. Let's see, let's go say hi to Nemesis. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, with, when we get back to Amnesia the Bunker and I know uh, so that'll be well fun for y'all not for me so regardless let's get this raid started like I said a privilege and a pleasure to entertain all of you I'm Zeruk Windcaller and remember that the memories you make in life good and bad make you who you are never change them for anything alright see you guys tomorrow have a great night bye bye